All right, episode 49, I think. Storm King's Thunder. Wow. 49. You guys are the only ones left. Everyone else is dying off. Gone full circle. Awesome, yeah. Yep. So, well, you're floating you over. Up? Well, no, you're not floating over. Uh, but it, oh! Lynn Armal is floating over. Uh, which one? Nightstone. Small, fortified lake town. And you guys are in Waterdeep. Um. And they're going to give you Griffin. The uh, Lord's Alliance is going to give you Griffins to travel over Lina Mall. Now um, they can do. Uh, I'm going to say they have a crystal ball, and they can scry and, and look and see Lina Mall. So you guys can sort of look at it from your the safety of Waterdeep until you guys decide to go. Cool. But they're um, you can see them collecting um, stones for their their bombardment of Nightstone. Which is going to happen, well, as soon as they decide to go. The giants are, oh my gosh. They're like up against a hill mountain top, collecting stones, and then they're going to take off and just go to Nightstone. Yeah. Aww. But we got to stop them. Um, roll your guys' um, yeah, yeah. So this is a crystal ball you're looking at. You know, the wizards and stuff are looking. And it's it's got that kind of fisheye look, so it's not perfect. So roll your perception or insight or arcana if you're a spellcaster to try to perceive what's going on through the crystal ball. All of you can roll too, so. Yeah, 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 yeah. Whatever uh, giant crystal ball the Lord's Alliance has to, for you to look through. Yeah, 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 yeah. I can't see. 17. I got an 8. <laughs> I got a uh, cast guidance on myself. 31. What the yeah, heck skill did you roll? 18. Inside, baby. Dang. Okay. Um, Pick up 31. Yeah. Let's go to 31. <laughs> Everyone else, get out of the way. Okay, 31. All right. So you see Whoa. that, right? Beautiful. You can see Lynn Armal from yeah. the vision of your crystal ball. So you, what you see is... Well, you have not seen that. Um, the, the, the sand... The, the, um, you can tell that the dragon is down here in the bottom. I don't know if you can see what I... Uh, we can't see the... Uh... What can you see? Can you see Lynn Armal, the, the picture? picture? Yeah, yeah, we can see the picture, yeah. Okay, you don't see my mouse over it though. No. Yeah, I'm, I'm doing it. I'm sharing. So, okay, the bottom there with the two doors. Uh huh. Windows. Window doors. Yeah, windows. Yeah, that's definitely where Felgalos Fel is. We want to save you, Felgalos. <sighs> that's your insight. You can sense him in there. You can sense the shadows, and the uh, Sensori, Countess Sensori, is torturing him in there. Uh. In the bottom level there. Is that a giant chessboard on, t on the top? That's cool. Yeah. Mm. Um, oh, there's, see. There seems to be a cloud giant on his own inside that green greenhouse. Okay. Minding his own business or something. The worker right. cloud giants um, go where the two towers are, and mm -hmm. they're picking off stones and bringing them mm. into the... Um, uh, from that area. There's, okay. a, there's like a stairway behind there. And then they bring him and load him up over there. Yeah. This seems like a mission for Amantha. I know. Um, I want to save the oh, dragon. I think we should save the dragon first and then and then ask it what to do. Before we go, though, I want to cast um, Hero's Feast so we can get some temporary hit points. Yeah, brother. Okay. How's that work? Yeah. Did so it's good. Why don't you describe it real in yeah. a role-playing way. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> so I say, friends, before we encounter this 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 dire mission of utmost importance, uh, we must enter to a great feast in the name of Kosuth. So bring his blessings upon us. And so then I cast the spell and giant table appears with all the trimmings. And we have to eat this. We get 2d10 temporary hit points. Awesome. 
It's all vegetarian. And v- vegan. It's all vegan, guys. <laughs> I'm vegan. Bur- and burnt. Roasts. It's all burnt. Yes. <laughs> Just crispy pieces of kale, bacon, kale. Yeah. <laughs> no water though. No water. <laughs> no water. Thanks, Listen, buddy. get bring your own drinks. Nice. Yeah, yeah, so, do you want me to roll the two d ten, or do you want them to all roll individually? It's up to you guys. What do you guys think? You trust me to roll your? I trust temp- you to roll my hit, temporary hit points. All right. Here we go. You can do it individually. That's me. 17, That's 17 me. temporary okay, points for each. everybody. Okay, fine. I definitely, okay. I definitely didn't trust you, but but I'll, <laughs> but I'll take it. 17 temporary. Oh, and it lasts for 24 hours. Oh my god, I have 120 hit points. <laughs> this is just so exciting, I can't even take it. Hey guys, I have a plan. You ready? Yes. Okay, so I think if we're getting griffins to... to what? Go, hi, Griffin. <laughs> if we're getting griffins to go fly to this fortress, here's what I'm thinking. Because I just realized... Your name is George. Oh, right. right. Yeah. Yeah. I feel like we should, like, fly in like we're going to attack the top area, and then as soon as we get there, I sort of slip off the back. We all slip off the back of our griffins, and I cast fly on everybody because I can cast fly uh, on the four of us. Um... Oh, and uh, and then we fly into the floor window, and, and, and while they're they're trying to battle the griffins that they think we're still on, we save the dragon. That's my first plan. I like it. It's a very fun plan. And look at look at the clouds. We can we can like we can like parachute sort of like below the clouds, and then fly kicks in and goes, <laughs> and we come flying out of the clouds like streaming mist. Into the window. Do you think? Do you think we could just fly through the clouds into the bottom? Maybe. Yeah, I think it's a great idea, Seb. If you open yeah. up the map again, I just explained to Gabby. Um, what part do you want us to fly and land on? If you look at that map from the bottom yeah, where the dragon is. Yeah, well, I was thinking. Well, I was thinking we fly in like, like. I should have made this to, into a map. As if we're gonna do like a frontal attack. Right, because we probably need to take out the giants that are going to be throwing stones off of, yeah. off those we, like, parapets first. Them, yeah, we shoot them a couple times with some long range stuff, and then like just like slip off the back, and then the griffins will keep on flying. We just sacrifice our griffins, and they'll be like, <clears throat> they'll be like, you know, occupied with the griffins as we like fly down into the lower windows. Maybe I don't know. Maybe like well, okay. maybe that the frontal attack will like draw the, the the giants from the bottom and like up to the top. You know, I don't know. Yeah, we could also. Have the griffins retreat, but then we have no way of getting off of the of the fortress afterwards. Get off! It's ours now. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> we can fly it anywhere we want to. I mean, I I wouldn't assume that we could control it after we take control of it. Well, I have a I have an eagle summoning thing, and I can I can carry two people outside of. And combat, so. and what if we kill what if we kill the head giant lady, and then it just like falls from the sky. That's a good point. And also, I want to interrogate her because I want to know more about her plans. So, yeah. So, the Lord's um, Alliance is like, we, we, we must find their conch that, oh, yeah. that calls directly to King Hecaton. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. This is of most concern to us. We we must find where the storm giants are. Hey, they have been have, hiding. Yeah. Robbie, do you have a uh, find ob- locate object? Yep. There we go. Maybe we can use locate object to figure out where the conch is. Uh, is it just based on familiarity? Well, you guys I, have the other. Yeah, I gotta check that first. I mean, you have the other conks too, so there's something to say for that. Yeah. Um, look, I can I can learn it direct. It needs to be within a thousand feet of me, and I can learn its direction. And it'll like keep on. It'll, it'll be like a hot cold thing. Like hot, yeah, it's like yeah. for ten minutes. It just it just kind of points me continually in a direction. You just have to describe it, or no. Uh, yeah, describe a name or an object that's familiar to you. You sense that uh, the direction. Uh, I guess if I name it, that'd be good, and I can describe it. Hmm. Okay. I like it. So as soon as we we, we 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 free the dragon and say guard us, and then we locate the object and just go find it. That sounds great. 
cool. And then we have all the cards, and then we can just just, just interrogate Sansuri. The cloud. Um. Also, like they say, the Lord's Line says, the cloud giants are have been known to be more formal and uh, shall we say civilized. So mm. there is, if you can stop them from bombard the whatever you claim them to be doing as a some sort of attack or bombardment on Nightstone, if you can somehow talk to them, I don't know. Seeing yeah. how all these giants have gone crazy with the the task to uh, become the ultimate uh, in the ordering. I don't know how um, persuasive you can be Pretty persuasive. against their uh, lust for power, but but the cloud giants have been known to be one you you know some of us have been able to make a deal with. However, they tend to be on the not very fair or reliable side when it comes to an agreement, <sighs> and. Um, Zephor is a rare one amongst the cloud giants. I'll tell you that. Zephorus. Zep Zephorus, whatever his name is. Zephor. Yeah, yeah, we've met Zephorus. He's he is. great. He said guy. he's on his way. Great guy. <laughs> yeah, sure. For, for oh, a cloud not, giant. He's not in there. No, no. He's he's, he's on his, his way. He's, no, he's he's different. Castle. You teleported. I thought, I thought he was in the greenhouse doing his own thing. No, no, oh, no, 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 no. That's someone else. To... I was just making an assumption. <laughs> he remember he had the floating castle had, a, had like a mage's wizard's hat on the top. Yeah, he's no. he's behind you. He he he's coming from Silvery Moon. You he's guys, behind, <laughs> behind you. Guys, you guys teleported to to Waterdeep to get there quicker. Yeah. Get ahead of the, the his prophecy. Uh, I wouldn't wouldn't call it a prophecy. His whatever. Yeah. yeah. Well, his omen. Whatever. His his vision. Uh, Harbinger of Doom. <laughs> His vision. All right, so you do have Griffins, and you do have a uh, uh, like a um, a Griffin Master who who will fly and control the Griffins after you guys take off, and he can cut. He can fly, um, you know, and uh, roost nearby, and just keep an eye. And if you want to flash a light or something, yeah, or call him, that's fine. You're eleventh level for crying out loud. I know that we can do so many things. It's insane. I actually have the thaumaturgy cantrip, so I can I can flash a little light to him. I mean, you, you could fall a thousand feet and then fly the last thirty, you know, or hundred feet or whatever. You know what I mean? Exactly. <sighs> Wasn't I? I think I was gonna. And then just wait for George to finally land. You know. Yeah. Several <laughs> yeah. hours later. <laughs> it's gonna be a long trip, man. <laughs> Although he could just take him, take him off and then right at the end put him on. You know. <laughs> there you go. Uh, I, sp speaking of cool items that I have, I think I was going to give Gibby something. Does she have attunement open? Attunement what? Oh, does she have a... I don't think so. I think with the shoes and the belt and the tiara, I think she has... Oh, she already has too many magic items. I think I have too many magic items, too. Yeah. <laughs> what are you going to give her... The uh, ring of protection to help out her AC. Oh, that's right. Well, I, I, um, I, my attunement thing is more like powerful weapons, you know. And then if little mundane mm. weapons are not a big deal to me. Okay. Well, yeah, yeah. I think I'm. I think I was gonna give her the ring of protection so that. Yeah, to me that's her... kind of a basic, you know. Well, it's yeah, plus two, awesome. so it's plus two She'd to AC that. and plus two to saves. Really. Wow! Yeah. I put a gem of enchantment in it. He's gonna oh, give okay. me a ring. I'll take that back. To the AC. Oh no, he's not gonna give. Now, no, you can go ahead. Almost. Yeah. Well, what else do you have? Yeah. I mean, she has the belt, the, the axe, belt, the tiara. Right. What's uh, the tiara? The ti What does your What does your crown do? I, that's plus one to saves. I think. Yeah. Um... Plus one oh, to the crown is plus fire. one to fire saves. Plus one to fire? Yeah, That's fire it? saves. Yeah. Oh. Okay. So yeah, the Where'd ring would that? be better for you. Uh, the queen gave it to her. Queen Waver gave it to her. That was before we went to... That was like all the way back before we went to... Uh, Leela, will you relax? How was before we went to that dwarven stronghold? 
I think she want to play. <laughs> she yes, she does. More than mommy. He's like, Mom, you should have went. You should have went half of the totem. <laughs> wow, I don't see so uh, that thing. Okay. Anyway, yes, I I bequeath the ring of protection to Gibby. Okay. Thank you. Yeah, that's way better. Plus two to armor class and plus two to all saves. Great. And it's got a gem of enchantment in it, so you know. Wow. No babies allowed. <laughs> Alrighty. Oh. You guys flying? Yep. Yeah. Let's do it. You know what? I can, why don't, I can also cast Thaumaturgy on the Griffins as we're coming in. Just to give them a chance to parlay, I can be like, George is... Ah! Heroic companions, those of us who destroyed all the giants in the Ordnum, have come to parley with you, Queen Sansuri. Lay down your arms and speak with us or be destroyed. Boom that out as we go. Really? Yeah. And just as they're replying, a cast fireball. Yeah. <laughs> the clan. Wait, okay, so. This is the lower level map. Can you see your guy? Can you see yourselves? Uh, I just see the void. Oh wow! Oh, so black? It? No, there's a little bit of light shining in. Whoa! What is happening? Jeez, where are we? Amazing! I see some crazy stuff going on. We're in clouds. We're in clown clouds. There, I see like You're here, right? Uh, <laughs> oh wow! There. Yeah, we are there. I don't like, see any. Go to the right. Oh, this, uh, fire. I see like I see like uh, one slit where I guess where we can look into the window. Where I can look into the window. Yeah, a couple of the windows we can kind of see into. Yeah, the uh, that's because the uh, the dynamic lighting's on. So let's move ourselves around. A bit more. All right, so you did a you did a loud crazy proclamation there, right? Yeah, right. Guy? Yeah, I'm just doing it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And you landed. Where do you want to land? Hmm. I also have good intimidation if if you wanna if I wanna. We can roll that if we want. <laughs> oh, little baby. Um, well, are we gonna are we gonna do our plan? If, if we can see if they respond, but we can uh, see if we can land on the top floor and then jump off and fly down and get the dragon. Whatever you guys want. I I think we should land as soon as possible. So you're flying around basically. Right now, we're flying at the the the. the at the fortress. Or the top level of the fortress, right? Top level? Yeah, and then if we, we should go to... bottom level, that's where the dragon is. No, no but, but the thing is, if like we fly at the top level, right? And if they attack uh -huh. us, then we can jump off our griffins and fly to the bottom level. Mm. Or we can just use our griffins. I don't know. Whatever, but. Yeah, I should have I'd like to get off them as soon as possible. That way we don't have to do animal handling rolls every time. Mm. So here's the top level. Can, mm -hmm. you, can you see? Yep. Um, just. Wait a minute. Okay. So this is one level at the top, and I'm going to move you just so you can see. And this is the other one. I don't know why they. You know, you can see the. Pumpkin patch there. Oh yeah. And then the chessboard is on the other side. I'm just gonna move you because you're flying around. Mm hmm Oh cool. Yeah, that's the level we like. That's the level we want. Right? I mean, if you want to land there. Yeah. Let me get the other picture out again, just so we can. Uh... All right. So you're flying around this. Yeah. And since you made that proclamation, you see some cloud giants come out. Now, I, I, um, they look like, to me, they, I never did any drawings for these cloud giants. I never could get into the, the, 
the feel of them, but I'm just starting to think that they look like kind of like dressed like genies. Like they're kind of, you know, in that sort of Eastern motif or whatever, you know, with the vest yeah. and the, uh, that's whatever. how I always picture them too. Yeah. But I mean, they don't, they don't have, they don't look too much genie, but sort of genie, you know, yeah. Yeah. very, very, very well done clothes and um, accoutrements and all that. But yeah. you see, so obviously you've alerted all of them to your presence. Oh. And the one thing that's not in the artwork, obviously, is stones. So there's a bunch of stones stacked up for their bombardment. They right, right, right. But they're close to Nightstone. You can see Nightstone down below in the through the clouds and um, on the lake there. So they see you, and uh, you know some of them kind of hold some stones themselves. But I think most of them probably I, I wouldn't say they hold stones. I think they they got some other ways of attacking if they needed to. So, mm -hmm. but they're looking up at you and just you know doing this mm -hmm. and. You see, like, oh, a few of them kind of come out, and they come out of different areas. And So what do you do? Should we try? Should we demand to speak to Sansuri? How many of them are there right now? Uh, there's probably, like, six of them out there. There's more huh. inside, for sure, through the windows and stuff. You see faces, faces poking through the windows, like silhouettes. Work your and, magic, Amantha. And the one in the garden has obviously put his, put his plants down and has come out. <laughs> right. Yeah, say yeah. we demand an audience with with Sansuri. We yeah. demand to be brought to her, her her council chambers or her throne room or whatever. Yeah. Who well, dares yeah. disturb us? It is us, George's heroic companions. You have heard of us from the wails and despair of your brethren. I am sure. We do. We do not want any more violence. We are here to heal mm -hmm. the ordinum, but we must talk with Sansuri first. There's no need to heal the Ordnung. We, we shall step forward and become masters of the Ordnung. That is fine. Do not hinder us in our path to glory. And Razek says, you'll become masters of Ash. <laughs> um, hey, uh, do not listen to the warlike speech of my companion he is quick to anger but do not underestimate his anger uh we do not really care about your petty power play yeah just zoom in and out I do. what we care about is we care about the effect upon the greater realm and we would like to discuss that with sansori wait say the last thing you said there we, I don't really care. We don't really care about their petty power plays. Like they, they don't. I don't care. We don't care, right? If they, they take over. Uh, roll, roll your persuasion, or is that right? Persuasion. Yeah. Or my persuasion or intimidation, I guess. Oh, uh, what are you, are you trying to intimidate them? With yeah. little, little, little punies flying around on your little canaries. Yeah, <laughs> my, my, with my big thaumaturgy though. Raw. Oh, a natural 20. <laughs> natural nat 20? Yep. <laughs> what? Yep. <Lucky>. Me. <laughs> Let's see that. Up. Okay, well you get a sense that you um you're he's confused and unsure, so you mm -hmm. can say something else now that you know is going to get him. Um, what do you think, uh, guys? Should I ask him to, to – should I play our cards and, know, and tell Release him the dragon and dragon. stop the attack on Nightingale. Yes. Nightingale. Is that Nightstone. 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 Yeah. So all – as I said, we do not care about your petty power plays amongst the Ordinum. All we are here to do is to free our friend Elithagor. I forget his name. Elagolos. And – and, and, and if you lay down your arms and stop your attack on Nightingale, you will not be destroyed. Nightstone, but yeah, that's fine. <laughs> I think it's just Nightingale now. <laughs> okay, so he is kind of nervous, this guy. Uh, oh, let me get him out. We need to speak to Queen Sansori, not your petty, petty creature. <laughs> As you can see, I didn't do any artwork. Okay, 
So he's, I am Count Thulin. Oh, look, there's pebbles. Uh, rocks. How do you know? I'm Count Thulin. Yeah. I will get Countess Sansuri to speak with you then. Yes. Good. I, I should have given like a... Wind. Land here. And she will hear your request to, fe to free Felgolos. And... Um, what was the other thing you said? And to stop your attack on Stop the attack. Day. So All he right, goes. Guys, guys, I, th I think we land. Like, let, let, let's yeah. go along with these guys. Land. This cloud dance stands there and does this, you know. So we, we, we fly in on our griffins and just like, Gah! and land, and they're like, their cloud talons like grab into the dirt on the thing, and we hop off. Right? Yeah, yeah totally. I'm, I already jumped off. I'm already on the thing. <laughs> yeah, you guys can move your tokens, I hope. Yep. Yep. Yeah, and we will. Uh... <gasps> George Jr. You see some uh, trees walk, you know, kind of moving around in this garden area. Uh, George Jr. They seem like they're servants, you know, doing a little gardening. Yeah. Oh. Um, can you move Gibby? Sure, her thing isn't loaded. Try to refresh. It's not loading? Yeah. Yeah. I had the same problem. I refreshed, but let's see if it works for her. Oh, her name. But I got to get her name on here, too. Um, uh, you get a sense that those those are all anim you know like a chess piece, right? Yeah. Yep. Knights, pawns, and all that. But especially Raziak, you get a sense, or even the warlock, you get a sense that they could. <laughs> you know? Into life. Yeah, yeah. Oh boy. And there's like right. thirty of them or something, but. Okay. Holy guacamole! Do not touch those. I see hey. their voices. Do not touch those. Yeah. <laughs> I whisper I whisper to the gang and go, We must be ready to leave at a moment's notice. Something yeah. doesn't, doesn't seem right. I, I, I message you telepathically and say, Damn straight, George Goldie. Uh let me just get so everybody yeah, yes, Do the uh do the Griffins leave? We send the Griffins off, right? Because we don't need them anymore. Yeah, he has a you guys have a you know, a griffin master with you so he can take them. Yeah, we say, we do not need these griffins. We trust these giants to take care of our welfare. And But but then I telepathically message George and say, stay close because this fly spell is touch only. <laughs> <laughs> well, he's got the um, thing of a dinger. Yeah, I can just fall into wherever we need to go. Yeah. Bye, friends. Just tripped off. Hope you guys know what you're doing. Yeah, me too. <laughs> we've, we've rested, right? Yeah. Yep. You see um, Count Thulin return with this. Th oh, so this guy comes out. <gasps> and he looks kind of peculiar and different. He looks at you and eyes you, you know. He's kind of got a different look to him than the... This red guy in red, by the way, this one right here. Yeah. He is like a normal cloud giant. So I'm just telling you. This right. guy looks a little more dressed up, you know? A little more... Um, okay. Sorry, the one with the white token is Count Thulin? No, no. Oh, he, he came uh, back with Count Thulin. Sorry. Um, he... Hold on. Let me just... Let me get these... Let me, let me surround you guys first before I... I can't do... Unlike most... Unlike most DMs, I, I cannot multitask. No, that's fine. Do your thing. I'm Come so on. excited. Okay. So he comes out, and he's a little more royal, I guess you could Ooh. say. Right? And this guy is more regular cloud giant. And this is... Mm. He looks a little more royal. He's got maybe like, like, like the panther, whatever, the fruffles and the frills. And he's looking yep. at you. And um, who are you coming here? Are you cloud giant? Are you giant slayers, little ones? We are the giant slayers. I have heard of you. <clears throat> we have slain giants in the past, yes. But I say, and I'd love to roll deception on this. We do not plan on slaying you if you play fair with us. Well, I appreciate that. I appreciate not being slain. <laughs> I heard you took care of Guru in this in these pots, and scattered the hill giants. The fat one. 
Yes. yes. Amusing. I <laughs> applaud thee. Amusing. Yes. You see, out comes more. They kind of come out like ruffians, you know. A couple more heel giants come out. Let's see what we got here. You, what are you doing? You sit on her? Good enough. She just got bored. <laughs> she just got bored. That's funny. Wait, wait. I swear, this roll 20, it just decides that some of my audio doesn't work. Okay. Yeah. Just, just, you know what? Not going to work now. Bye-bye. Let me I'm just gonna grab this one. Come on, where are you? Okay. All right. They come out and they they, they kind of these 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 the red guys kind of do their you know positioning themselves. This is the, our plan's working, guys. This is great because we don't we want to get them all up here and then. Just, oh, just oh! Leave. Apparently, we're going to have a little party. It seems. Cazaros comes and stands by you all. He kind of like you know I, I'm your friend. And we say, okay. Um. Count Thulin returns. She shall be here shortly. She's most interested in your presence. Okay, that's good. Um, I don't like the look of this guy who's sidling up to us, though. Can you please tell him to step back? He's smiling, looking down at you. I am, oh, forgive me. My name is Cresario. And that is Count Thulin. That's the brother of Count Sansuri. And Count Thulin is like, don't tell him anything, you know, kind of like that look. And Kazaros is kind of amused. And <laughs> What's, uh, what seems to be the problem with Count Thulin? Oh, yeah. he's just, you know, concerned, careful. He's always in his garden. Isn't that right, Count Thulin? You speak too much, Grisario. Oh. <laughs> Sibling rivalry. Are you guys twins? <laughs> <sighs> Yay! Oh! <laughs> enters the Lady of the, the Mask. Uh, what is it? Lady of the Masks? Lady of the Masks, yeah. Yep. So you see she's wearing a mask, and the mask is, of course, of curiosity. <laughs> hmm. That's great. <laughs> All right. And so you don't know what she looks like. I mean, but it's not its not like, you know, she holds it up. So you can kind of see her face if you did a little maneuver. But but she's holding that thing in front of her face. Who comes here to tell us of our purpose in this world? They step aside. Yeah, great. So uh, she's gonna come. It is it is us, George's heroic companions. We have laid waste to your lower brethren. The hill giants, the storm the stone giants, the frost giants, and the fire giants. But we have no wish to destroy you uh, if you if you do two things for us. Free our friend Thalagalos and cease your attack on the human city of Nightingale. Free my pet. Ha! Huh. It is. Find yeah. us keepers. He's my pet, not yours. Where, where did you find him? In my garden, sneaking around like a little worm. Ooh. Perhaps right. you are clever. Little me. beetles sneaking around in my garden as well. We came not to sneak. But to to tell me what to you, do. No, convince you that is that you do not need to attack Nightstone. That's a good point. Yeah. Then no, maybe you should go down to Nightstone and get us what we want. What do you want? They have a stone, a precious giant stone there. Underneath it, 
should be relics of the past from cloud giants, of course. Why don't you go and get it for us, then? And we won't bombard it to complete nutted dust. But no tricks. What yeah. use have you for the stone? It's a cloud giant relic from our past. We deserve to have it. It is ours. What is his powers? That is not of any of your business. Merely retrieve we... it for us and we'll be on our way. Well, how, how will we know that you will uh, cease the attack if you get what you want? Good question. What else would I want from little folk? Hmm. Is there question. anything you have that I would even want? Well, like awesome charisma like I have. Or you could have our protection. <clears throat> I don't need your protection. I need the Ordnung for King Hecaton is derelict in that duty. Well, yeah, that's right. Actually, I want to actually know this. Uh, I, 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 maybe I'll step up a little bit and be like, we have, we will consider getting this powerful stone for you but I have to be assured of your intentions and you can do that by giving me some information we have heard the king information Hector. is quite valuable well so is the stone if we get it for you this is us we, we are treating with you countess now wait this is this is uh, she's a oh yeah countess Hecate, uh queen oh we have heard that you, Countess, have also King Hecaton's wife, Queen Mary. What? Um, that's, that, tell us we are mistaken, but this is the rumors that we have heard in the wider world below. Roll your... Uh, uh, perception? Insight or perception? Okay, insight. I can roll my, my insight. Uh, not, uh, no, 26. Well, as soon as you say that, they all tighten up in utter guilt and defensiveness. You know they're, um... <coughs> you know they have her. <coughs> what are you saying that is preposterous? And then... And then an oh, accusation I will not accept. Uh, well, well... Uh, we... How dare you accuse our countess? Of such uh, villainy. Of course, uh, pardon the intrusion, but uh, clearly such a rumor, uh, you know, it, there must be some reason for people to think such a thing. Yes, <laughs> Despite it being you. so clearly <laughs> not true. We're not accusing you. You're, we're reporting the rumors. Your, 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 your defensiveness is a little bit strange, to be honest. She switches masks to some mean mask all of a sudden, come popping it out of somewhere. What? I don't know if I like your company. Accusing me of something so... traitorous. We respect the storm, the storm giants and their rule, but they faltered. King Hecaton is missing and so is his, 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 the queen. <laughs> I, I, so I say, okay, well, then, if you say, if you claim you do not have her, then do you know where she is? Of course not. That is why we wish to, must, rise in the Ordnung. And we shall do so with our relics. And you have not spoken with King Hecaton since he uh, has gone missing? <laughs> no. Hmm. Hmm. Um. In a. <laughs> let, 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 let's, let's see if she. Oh, <laughs> They're laughing at us, guys. How about this? In a gesture of uh, goodwill, um, we will consider retrieving your stone for you. But first, you must free Palagaloth! Palagaloth, you mean? Yeah. Eight different names you've tried. <laughs> <laughs> I shall not release my pet. 
You all are too demanding. Demanding this and demanding that and accusing me of something in a slanderous affair. Well, this is You're no practically demand. declaring it's war on us. I suppose it's no you demand, think it's simply a trade. The Nightstone for Algolos. We were coming here to get it ourselves. We don't need to trade with you when we can simply get it ourselves. You cannot get it with us in your way. Do you not see that? Do you not see, and I cast on our power! <laughs> and the like, flames like, fly everywhere. <laughs> you do the whole rising thing in yeah. the air? Yeah, just sort of like lift up a little bit. Ah! Roll, uh, roll your intimidation roll. Yeah. Nine. <laughs> They're just like, okay, you almost reached our height. It's a little disconcerting. Well, perhaps you... Uh, we are at a standstill. I suppose we could just go to war. Or we could do something more civilized. Yes. And cultured. How oh. about this? If what? we bring you the Nightstone, will you then release Belgolo? Wait, I want to see what. Yeah, also, I want to see what she, her her idea for civilized culture is, too. But yeah, go ahead. Oh yeah, Sorry. <laughs> might have jumped the gun on that a little bit. <laughs> no, we'll take that. Go ahead and bring it next time. We'll give you a stupid dragon. <laughs> <laughs> no. no, I want to see. I, I will in, 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 consider your civilized request. Oh, Chrysarius is like, <laughs> and she's all riddles. I love riddles. Maybe Bottle. perhaps you could solve three riddles for me. And if you yes. do, perhaps we shall leave. Yes. I like that. I love riddles. Let me get some coffee. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, where are you going, little one? We need to discuss this in terms of the... The rituals will only be spoken in common, not gnomish. Not gnome. I can't hear you. <laughs> I was gonna say we need to translate these into Spanish. Thank <laughs> you. Get some riddles. Where are the riddles? I want to solve them. Uh, George already oh, solved I them all. So yeah. you guys get Falgalos and. Uh, they were really hard too. <laughs> <laughs> Oh. <laughs> I was gonna say time. English. Oh, That's gonna be hard for me. I'm gonna translate. <laughs> you ready for the riddles? Yes. Ooh. Wait, so, so, what are the terms of our little? Yeah. What are the stakes? What are the stakes? So, if we solve the riddles, you'll release Falgolas. Of course, we will. And. Queenary. Why don't you go? Why don't you all go in your own little corner, children, and decide what your terms are, while we discuss our most favorite riddles to challenge you with? Okay, sounds good. Yeah, what do you think, guys? Should we demand Queen Mary as well as Falgolas? Well, definitely, we need definitely we need them get them to release the dragon. Did they admit that they have the queen? No, no, no. So we then can't. They were kind of like. Well, yeah, we well, that's a bargaining chip. We don't even know if they have, although we suspect well, we, they do. But we, we know, know that they have it. We know that they have it. Yeah, her. we do. We know, do we know that they have her. Yeah, we have it. I have it in my notes. We know. Well, we know that they have the dragon, but I don't think we ever saw that they had the queen. No, when uh, when Amantha questioned them about it, they got uh, yeah. guilty and defensive. Okay. What, what if it, like that might, but that might mean that they're involved, that they kidnapped her, that, but it doesn't mean that they have her here. That's what I'm saying. Is oh, there, I see. Yeah, they might not be here at this physical location. Mm -hmm. Are there? Any but I don't know where else they would be. Isn't this like all the cloud giants? Right, but they have remember, other strongholds. But, well, they might, but they're working in concert with the um, I can't remember her name, but the dragon that's actually a storm giant, Imroth. or the storm giant that's actually a dragon. Imra. Imroth might actually have. That's, a, that's what I'm saying, we don't really know. And so are we assuming that Imroth is the one that's like in the middle of the ocean? Uh, the Slogrothel? Or is that a Slogrothel thing? I don't know. Well, I think it's all connected though, but... I just want, I'll remind you some stuff that I, you should know. Like, 
Okay, so mm-hmm. what did you just say there, Griffin? About this? So is Imroth the one that is? Imroth was imitating a storm giant. Storm giants. Uh, but is Imroth the one to the west in the ocean, or east. is that east? She is an ancient blue dragon in the far east. Okay. And Slarkrathel then... is in the ocean. In the west. Yes. yes. Okay. Okay. Uh, what else did you guys? Any other? I just, uh, I, you we, know, you, I know, you, you, your characters know this stuff. You know, I know you. Right. Yeah. No, we're just surmising where where Queen Neri might be because even though we know that they might have her, she might not be here. Here. Right. Yeah. Well, Although we did see a giant in the greenhouse. That was just kind of. No, that was Count thing. Thulin. Oh, that was Count Thulin. Okay. I just. That's what I mean. I don't know if it's going to be the best party in that one. I think we should keep it simple. Just go for the dragon for now. We definitely got have to avoid a fight, so we can promise to go get the nightstone and then not get it, or pretend yeah, to leave and then actually yeah. sneak onto the place. Yeah. Um, but we should not stay here and fight. Agreed. I don't like these odds. Yeah. Well, <laughs> oh, and there's Maybe. more. There's more cloud giants. These are not the only cloud giants. There's there's more on the bottom level. At least four or more. Okay. Yeah. Four or more, depending on how well we do against those four. <laughs> um, well, it's just that could be it. I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. No, but yeah, there's, they're, yeah, they're they're manning the walls below. But you you saw them from the outside. Yeah. Yeah, I mean the plan was if things got hairy, we just I catch flying everybody, we just jump off the ledge. You know what I mean? Yeah. But uh. Hey, is there anything you can cast, um, Robbie? That's like that'll find out where Queen Mary is. I mean, we've already talked about this, but uh, yeah, I mean, we could have. Well, we could have scried her before, but I haven't. I, I thought scried. she was. I thought she was being protected from scrying. No, she's being protected, was right? She, um, but otherwise, somebody would have found her already. Yeah, yeah, that's all I have. I mean, I have locate creature, but that's just for a specific type of creature. So, I mean, I could cast locate storm giant. If she's here, she'd show up. I mean, a storm giant would be show up. Well, what do we want to get for the rituals? If we Sorry get if we get if we get one ritual, we get Felgolos. You mean you mean riddle? Riddle, yeah. Sorry, yeah. riddle. If we get two riddles, we get Felgolos. And the treants. The animated trees. <laughs> the George the George Juniors. No. George Juniors, a whole army of George Juniors. No, you have to solve all the riddles. Yeah, that's what I figured. Hey, we're setting the terms here. Oh well you can set your own term, sure. Or try no, to. No, that's fine. No, no, I'm sorry, go ahead and do what you want. Yeah. Yeah. What else that's, do we want? Well, we could say the location of Queen Mary. We uh, shouldn't bring her up again, unless we want to start a fight. Um, There's only four of you, too, so... I mean, I'm feeling pretty powerful right now. (laughs) (laughs) I hope you are. Yeah, until you cast Fly and lose half of your spell slots. (laughs) (laughs) Big boy with his three spell slots, eh? (laughs) Yeah. Uh, yeah, I mean, so I guess yeah, we just ask for Feldolos. Yeah, let's read the tra- dragon and then see what the dragon has to say about it. Yeah. So, okay, so I don't really know what your terms are, but um, I'll let you, we'll, we'll play it out. And we'll... <laughs> so are you all lit, lit, little ones? Hello, little ones. Are you ready? Oh, this I'm is ready. exciting. Yeah, you guys come up here? You're... Yeah. Mm-hmm. Around the tall hedges there. Yep. Let me get you in the right area of effect. I mean, just lying down. <laughs> That's funny. So, are you ready to play our wonderful game of solving three riddles? <laughs> yeah. All right, Kazaro is very excited. Kazaro. Oh, this is wonderful! Wonderful! 
What are the okay. terms then? Let us hear your little terms. I'm so curious about what you little folk think of. With your little, tiny little, tiny little brains. Yeah, I guess we riddle, riddle the dragon out. No, well, go ahead, George. Or, whatever. What are your terms? Uh, we, uh, if we succeed, solving the three riddles, yes. Then we, you shall release Felgolos immediately. <sighs> Immediately, yes. Oh yeah, you do hear him going. Chains. The uh, dragon is dear to us. He's a fool. Yeah. Everyone knows he's a fool. Him. He has helped us, and we must help him. It is our honor. <laughs> if that's all you want, I don't even know if we need to play this game. <laughs> well, you wouldn't give him to us before, so. <laughs> well, true. <laughs> and then. And you will retrieve the nice stone for us if we win. And we get to keep my little pet worm. And you will go on your way. As we become the Ordner. And rule the world! I mean, giants. <laughs> uh, well, what else can we ask for other than that? Because that, that seems like a lot of terms on their side. <laughs> um. Oh, and... and uh... Yes, and you shall not attack Nightstone. Well, we're still getting the Nightstone and the relic. Have you thought to ask for it? <sighs> Boring. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, so free the dragon and <clears throat> we haven't asked about Imroth either yet. Should we bring her up? Probably not. Uh, and you'll give us the awakened trees. Oh yeah, we want it. We, we need to, guys. We need to get the conch. That was what the Lord's Lions wanted us to get. Okay, yeah. what about and asking the for conch. the dragon and the conch? Yeah. Yeah. That seems like what a conch? Thing. What are you referring to? Oh, do not insult our intelligence, and Suri of the masks. I also have many masks I have worn in my life. <laughs> Someone give me a magnifying glass so I can see this little thing's expressions. <laughs> <laughs> All the giants not. before you have had a conch shell that they use to communicate with the higher-ups. They're all kind of looking at each other with a nod. You know, go ahead. We, ha we know you have one as well, or had one. Either give it to us or tell us what you have done with it, should we win. That conch is from King Hegaton. It helps to find him, I suppose. I don't know. Why do you want that conch? King Hegaton's little shell. Well, we've, we've, we, we, we have told you already. We want to. We need to find him. They're making a bargain. They're trying to negotiate. And his wife. Fine. <laughs> For the riddles. Fine. If you. <laughs> If you solve these oh. riddles, you'll get Felgalos and King Hegaton's silly little conch. Yes! Okay. Shall we play? Yeah. What do you think, guys? I don't know why I'm just... And I don't, I don't know if this needs to be said or not, but... Should we win, you'll let us leave unharmed. <laughs> if you win! Yes. Okay, Wish. I'm gonna. Can, 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 uh, and if we lose, we. Yeah. Okay. We're not gonna. She, she's not gonna ask us to agree. Then we're not gonna agree. Well, if we lose, then we have well, to go get the conch for her. So I imagine, or uh, the yeah. nightstone for her. So I imagine yeah. she'll let us leave in one piece. Yeah. Giant slayers. Giant dancing. Giant slayers. Slayers of giants. Zalto has not talked to me in a while. I suppose you've taken care of Duke Zalto? Mm, yeah, you search your feelings. Duke Zalto's a pile of ash. Yeah, well, that wasn't technically our fault. And well, the uh, thing. Actually, it was. We did kill oh, him. And, no, oh my god, what's his, what's his name? The... He yeah, but he's a pile of ash because 
Megara got loose. Yeah, but I mean, it's he we left him as a corpse in front of her. <laughs> yeah, I, I I say I, I say uh, um I say I say uh, you Zalto should have feared to go into the mines. He delved too greedily and too deep. You know what? He awoke in the darkness of Kazadum, <laughs> shadow and flame. Kazadum, I've not heard of this place. Sorry, that was a quote from Lord of the Rings. <laughs> <laughs> and the Jarl, the, uh, the Jarl, the Jarl up in the frosty northern region, the waste of the north. Did you dispense yes. with him? Yes, he his ring shall not conquer the lands of men. <laughs> the snowmen you've like, taken care of. Seems like you don't really have many giants to rule over. And the Thane, the Thane of the Stone Deep, what of her? Yes, she had been corrupted by my patron. And, and who is your he, patron? You may have heard of him. And I take my tentacle rod out and I just smash it on the ground and the, the tentacles writhe across the grass towards her, not 15 feet towards her <laughs> as they sort of like snake. And I'm like, his name is Stark Rathay. Oh, roll your intimidation on that one. Yeah. <laughs> Natural 20. <laughs> what? <laughs> All right. She's like, okay, that was pretty impressive, I guess. She was, she's totally like, <gasps> they're all gasping. <gasps> so since that, um, you're going to get a... You get an advantage to your whatever. I don't know. We'll figure yeah, it out. We'll figure it out. That's awesome. <clears throat> that was. I like my my move there. Good like call. Yeah. <gasps> I like how the rolls have been helping you when they should be helping you, and not helping you when they should not help. <laughs> do not. Exactly. Do not speak his name here. Do not speak his name. For he will know. He will know our pre- and know our presence. Do not speak his name here. So you know if you speak his name, you may uh, affect them. That's the that's the twenty. You may have yeah. a chance of affecting them again. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Like I hesitating like them or something. It's here, yeah. It appears that they know who Slark Rethel is. Yeah. I like it. I'll keep that in my little. His giant mind. tentacles have come up from the depths of the ocean. It is as if the whole of the sea beyond our vision is filled with them. Yep. That's my guy. She shivers. <sighs> um, and of course, of course, he, she goes up to Krizarl, the fat one. Uh, that would be Gru. Yes, you've taken care of Gru, I suppose. She... Well, it seems you have cleared the Ordnung for me. I, in the place of all of them, shall control the giants. You see, say, don't you really forget about just Thane let Kalithika. Me. Yeah, and we what? just talked about her with Slarko, though. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that. What? Yeah, she he, he she asked, and we and she we said he, he, she was corrupted by Slarko. Oh, you're, you're talking. About oh, Sarkothel. okay. Sorry, I didn't hear that one. All yeah. right. Are you ready for your first <laughs> riddle? As you run yeah. off, mm-hmm. I'm really curious where she stands with Slarko. She's afraid of him. Maybe she's not working with him? Or maybe she is working with him, and that's why she's afraid of him. Hmm. Where did what's his face go? I'm right here. I have my ear <laughs> Just to make We are people. ready for your first All right. riddle. Alright. This better uh this better take you guys a while. Okay, otherwise I'm not doing this anymore. <laughs> <laughs> So Krizari was like, I've not heard this one. I've not heard this one. Yeah. All right. She begins. Ready? Should Listen carefully. We write this down? Huh? Should we write this down? Yeah. Listen carefully. Would you have parchment and pen and quill? Oh, yeah. Yes. I doubt it. I have a I have steel it. trap of a memory. <laughs> steel trap. I'm writing it into Google Translate. <laughs> Steel trap so locked I can't even get to it. 
Ready? Yeah. It is in the air. It floats, yet never goes up or down. And you see it in the light as the sun rises, as the sun falls. Yet you will never gain it with all your might. What is it? Yeah, it floats, you never go up to down, you see it, 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 you see Oh, I know what it is. No. You may talk amongst yourselves. Is it tomorrow? <laughs> this is so exciting! So we're talking amongst yourselves, uh, so we're not answering yet. But, I mean, it could be a rainbow? That's not as the sun rises and the sun falls. It could be orange? Uh, the horizon. Horizon? The horizon floats in the distance, yeah. Yeah. Oh, oh yeah, and the sun know. rises and the sun, but the sun rises and yeah, falls on the horizon. It it's does. Uh, part, it, does it works for part of it, but I don't know if it works for all of it. You never what get did, it. What do you think it doesn't so work like, for? Yeah. Uh, it is in the air? I don't know. Maybe. Yeah, it's in the air, it floats, yeah, it never goes up or down. Um. Well, I mean, if you look at the if you look in the air, right? The horizon is like is like you know. There's a phrase. It's floating on the horizon. Oh, is that a phrase? Yeah, it's a phrase. <laughs> the ship floats on the horizon. You know. Oh, okay. Yeah. What is your answer? I guess that's my guess. That's a good guess. What? Hold on a sec. Um, it's a pollution, like the the little thing, because. You see on the lie, like the little things. What things? Um, clouds? No. I was thinking clouds too. Fog? Yeah, like mag, like, I don't know. Hold on, she's, yeah. she got translated. <laughs> yes. Like a... But you don't gain, you don't gain, there's no... Fluff? Don't, you don't uh, try to gain... Maybe it's not the right word. Um, <laughs> fog? I think, she, I think she means like air particulates, like, like dust in the air, maybe. Because, because when the sun pollution? goes down, yeah. Did they have I, I pollution think, back then? I think, I think the problem with, I, I think that's a good choice. A good choice, except you never gain it with all your might. Line. That's the only thing about that. Is it? The, is it? Why would we want to yeah. gain it? Although, if we're striving for the rising, we're never going to get to the rising because it always stretches before us. You know, that's, that's pretty. You know. Uh oh. <laughs> I, 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 I forgot. I didn't realize you didn't see them, but there's. That's just the same thing, the chess pieces. Oh, those are just the chess pieces? Yeah. Okay. Huh. Uh, All right, can Sam. Can you give us a hint? All right, Sam, Mr. Riddle Master. I think the horizon. What is your answer? Go. Time is up. Look, the clouds have all changed already. <laughs> what is your answer before I shoo you off my castle? I vote for Horizon. What do you guys think? I don't have I don't have anything better than that. Go for it. Horizon, horizon. like the edge of the line of the <laughs> sky. Oh, or something. Yeah. Mm. Oh yeah, that's it. <laughs> like, it's not floating. That's what Gabby just said. That's not floating though. <laughs> yeah, but it does. It, but it, yeah, I know that's the one thing. But it does. It does sort of float in the air. Uh, I say horizon. Let's do, let's do it. What do you think? I don't have anything better. Me neither. The, it wouldn't be something like You see the, the giants start raising their weapons? <laughs> <clears throat> you see it in the light as the sun rises and the sun falls, you, you'll never gain it with all your might. Yeah, because you don't really see the horizon. Because you don't see the horizon at midday, right? Yeah, you do. Well, that Shut up, George. <laughs> <laughs> I say, uh, yeah. What do I mean? There's nothing. Oh, All right, time's up. What's your answer? Dog. Hor horizon. Hor horizon. Well, 
They're all like, Ugh. <laughs> You see Krizaro. Oh, very good. Look yeah. at you all. They're wow. my heroes. Who came up with that? George? Yeah. They're my nice. heroes. Huh. Yeah, she she right. switches to like oh, a nice, smiley nice face. <laughs> but it's cool. kind of a mean looking smiley face. <laughs> I imagine well, all her masks are mean. Well, uh, very impressive. I shall. And Cazario goes up to her like, I have one. And she's all, no. No, 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 no. She looks, she's looking away from you and then looking back at you. And then <clears throat> finally she comes back. The second riddle. Let's see how smart you all are. Mm -hmm. Are you ready? Yes. I want all of your hands up in the air. <laughs> now, are you, you typing can, it? Okay. You can type it. That's fine. You can okay. It. <laughs> yeah. You may think it's a cloud, but surely you'll be wrong. White it is and see through about the top of thee. It floats always there before ye. Yet it holds a colorful ring around the darkest night. Can you guess what it is in plain sight? What did I say? Oh, I'm, just wait. <laughs> <laughs> like he's not done typing. <laughs> okay. I yeah, also, I didn't, I didn't, I was not as fast as at typing. Oh. Time. I didn't no. get the whole thing. Uh, okay, uh -oh. I'll tell you what I've got. It is in the air, it floats, it never goes up or down. Oh no, that's the one you just did. What was the, what was <laughs> the last what I got. one? This is what I got. You may <laughs> cloud, surely you'd be wrong. Wait, I might be, I, I might have missed a few words though. No, that sounds about right. Above the top of what? You, you, may think you may think it's a cloud, but surely you'll be wrong. White it is and see-through. Wait. Above the top of ye? Of ye. Ab of you? Yeah, ye. Old old okay. English for you. I know, it's it's not gonna it's not gonna translate that. You, yeah. Uh I'll be back. <laughs> Actually, I'm gonna go to the right bathroom. Yeah. Go to the bathroom. Okay. It holds a colorful ring in the dark of night. Can you guess what it is? It's white. Sounds like the moon. Oh, uh, yeah. Because it, it holds a colorful ring. No, but in it's... Dark. Well, it is when it's a... It's not see-through, but when it's a crescent, it's like in the night is black. It looks like it's see-through. It's not. But right. do you know what I mean? Yeah. White it is and see-through. And it's also not always there. And and yet it holds a colorful ring. That's an eclipse. Um, yeah, it's an eclipse. Yeah, that's right. There's also like, there's also rings around the moon from the reflection, kind of like a like a rainbow, but like a circle yeah. around. I've seen the those moon. before. Yeah. Um, White it is in see through. What is the see through part? Me so I remember when it's a crescent moon and the whole night's black. Oh, yeah, it looks guess, like it's, yeah. it's not really, but. Above the top of ye it floats, always there before thee, yet it holds a colorful ring in the dark of night. Can you guess what it is in plain sight? <clears throat> yeah, I think moon's a good guess. Col colorful ring in the dark of night. Yeah, I guess the eclipse could be that. What? I didn't know gnomes are good at riddles. <laughs> Huh? Said no gnomes were good at riddles. I'm not sorry. I saw almost I messed up the first one. But this one Time I is up! But I'm not sure. What do you say, Griffin? We go for it? We're Unless you got anything better. Let's wait for Sam. Alright. So you all know your demise together mm -hmm. the only other thing i could think of would be like you know how sometimes you can see the like the milky way like another arm of the milky way hmm. that's probably a little yeah. too, i'm probably thinking into it too too deep though 
you may think of a cloud. I mean, I don't know if I ever think of the moon as a cloud, but but maybe, maybe. Uh, someone roll their. Oh, wait, do uh, I get advantage? <laughs> can I can I whisper? Can I whisper? Can I Fashion I in riddles. Slark Rizal into her brain. <laughs> no, roll your uh, insight. To, I just uh, I. You didn't type it exactly right, so oh. if you can roll, I'll give you the correct wording. Who's rolling, me or Sam? Um, I'm the insight king. Yeah, you yeah, can roll, you, too. Guidance. Who's got a high insight? I always cast guidance on you. Yeah, Robbie's got the highest. Oh, my God. I, I rolled a 19. All right. So I'm just going to repeat it, all right? And, and you can see if you... Yeah. You may think it's a cloud, but surely you'll be wrong. White it is. Wait, 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 you must think. You may think it's a cloud. It's a cloud, but surely you'll be wrong. White is it and see through about the top of thee. It floats always there before ye. Yet it holds a colorful ring around the darkest night. Can you guess what it is in plain sight? Colorful ring around the darkest night. Can you guess what it is? Okay, that's different. Okay. About so, the top of about the, the top of the okay yeah okay you guys ready or you need to talk some more? About the top of the floats always there before the uh, the whole ring. The contact lens. Is it no, automobile? I, I don't know. I, is I, it, I kind uh, of it... <laughs> still think we're right, but. Um... I don't. I can't think of anything better than. Mm. White is it and see through about the top of ye, it floats, always there before the about the top of the. Is it like right next to us? <clears throat> no, that'd be like beside ye. Is it hair? But how many people like white see through hair? Yeah. The horizon again. Giant, maybe. <laughs> you won't trick ring. me. It holds a colorful ring around the darkest night. I still think it's moon. Holds a color. What was it before the? Yeah, it holds a colorful ring around the darkest night. Oh, what if it's the Milky Way? It is the Milky Way. Mm. Yeah. Is it not white? That, well, the Milky Way is white, right? And it's see-through. You can see through it. About the top of the eight floats, always there before the end. It holds a colorful ring around the darkest night. Or just, really it's it's or just stars. Because in the darkest night, in the darkest night, it's it's it's, it's, it's the most bright. Rain. Rain? Rain. Rain isn't white. Sugar's not white. Mm-hmm. But these can be white. Translucent. I don't know. The colorful part is the tough. Is a tough one. I think it could be the Milky Way. I feel like it fits Moon way more than it fits Milky Way. But I don't know. I'm starting. If we're gonna say Milky Way, I'd rather say stars than Milky Way. I don't know. Uh, But. but it's only it's only one thing. That, at the top of ye, it floats. You know, so it can't be stars. It has to be a singular thing. Wait, it could be a halo. The halo. halos, a halo. You can see through a halo. It's white. It's right over top of your head. It floats above you. It's a ring. It's a colorful ring in the dark night. Oh yeah. Yeah, but how many times do people have halos? I mean, in this world, maybe. <laughs> It's like that like ring of light holy people have pictures. Yeah. Well, what I think I think we're all kind of we're all settling on different things. We're gonna have to choose one now. Around the colorful ring around the darkest nights. I still say moon too. You still say moon? Well you moon don't like fits- your halo guess? I don't know, man. What it what, like? Why, why does it say you'll guess what it is in plain sight? Can oh guess? Is that just them just asking what it is? Yeah. No, it's part of the riddle. 
Can you guess what it is? That's part of the riddle. Him playing yeah, but is that just... Yeah, isn't that just them saying what is it at the end? Or is that part of the riddle? It's part of the riddle. Can, can you guess there, what it is? It's something you'd have to be able to see in plain sight. Is that what they're saying? You can see the moon in plain sight. Yeah. I don't know how often you can see riddles. How, how often in plain sight you can't see the Milky Way. How can something be white and have a colorful ring? Makes no sense. <laughs> when it's an eclipse, baby. When it's an eclipse, yeah. Um. <clears throat> ah! Mm. It could be also. Sam, I'll leave it to you. Oh God, don't leave it to me. Yeah, you got this. All right, each of you. Or Robbie, Robbie. Each of you roll an insight. I'll try to give you a clue, but I don't want to. Okay. <laughs> Guidance. Guidance. I give you a clue, you're like, ah. Uh, 25. Anyone else? No, you, all of you can roll. Oh. I will guidance. In guidance on myself. I got a unnatural 20. Dirty 20. I got a 14. Uh, what about Gibby Gip the gnome? Um, no roll. Roll one d twenty. Two. <laughs> you actually had to tell me that. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so Raziak, you you think in your own mind, like, well, I'll give you uh, two yes or no's in your mind, you know, mm-hmm. and then okay, and George, I'll give you one yes or no. In my mind, I say, is it a moon? No. No. And, and in in my mind, I say, is it a halo? No. Wow. Then I'm I'm <laughs> out of guesses, guys. Is it stars? No. Yeah. <sighs> okay. Colorful ring around the darkest night. Is it Saturn? <laughs> yeah. Wait, we can see Saturn. You can't see Saturn plain sight. What if then I have a ring? Oh! Maybe it's the sky? The sky is see-through, but is the sky white? I, I, I was thinking that too, Sam, and I was like, if they started like blue is and see-through, I'm like, all right. But I mean, I it's oh, clouds. But it just said you may think of it a cloud, but surely you'll be wrong. Oh, yeah, no. fucking liars. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, right. I don't. I I'm out. The two guesses I had were false. So it's the horizon again. It's like a horizon for all three rows. <laughs> About the top of ye, it floats. Always there before thee, yet it holds a colorful ring around the darkest night. Because at dawn and dusk, the, the whole horizon is, is like color. In space. Ay, ay, ay. I really want to get it right. Is it, is it a cloud castle? Maybe it's just a bad riddle. <laughs> no. Yeah. Yeah. Think of if this thing really... is not white, I swear to God. <laughs> this thing is a cloud, I swear to God. <laughs> Just not white. Wait a minute. If it's not white, see and see through. You may think it's a cloud, but surely you'll be wrong. White is it, and see through. About the top of thee it floats. Always there before ye. Yet it holds a colorful ring around the darkest night. Can you guess what it is? Or what is? Can you guess what it is? In plain sight. Oh. Uh, maybe it's... Oh, I know what it is. Oh, I know what it is. is I know it what the it is. Sun? I know what it is. It's your eyeball. Your what? Yeah, it's an eyeball. Okay, go for it, man. 
his in his eyeball. Oh ho. That's what it is. Alright. That's our guess. <laughs> Unbelievable, man. She li literally that, almost dude. reveals her face. It is? <laughs> eyeball. As she's shaking the... Holding the Cold mask. Cold ring. Cold ring. Chris Cizarro says, Oh! 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 ring around the black. And you can see through it. So? So, George, no. was it white and you can see through it? Yes. I hate riddles. Good guess, Sam. <laughs> Good guess, Sam. Yeah. Well, you see it got a little harder on that one. Your little brain's working so hard on my luscious riddles. Luscious. Think you can survive or solve the last one? Yes. Okay. Time. Definitely. And you see, Cresaro uh, mm. is like, <gasps> and he looks at the countess, and she nods, and he goes, <gasps> oh, yes. and he steps oh, forward. No, not the hardest one. He what is in my pocket? Himself, yeah. <laughs> a pocket. Um, each of you gets a roll, though. So roll your dice, and I won't tell you what it is, but t but tell me the just the roll. Oh, just a regular 120 roll? roll? Yeah. Oh, Make sure I'm it's really high. 20. Oh, I got a hey, natural 20. Hey, hey. No. 19. Yeah, I did. Gibby got, got a nine. Gibby got a 19. I got a 17. And Griffin got a 20. I got a four. <laughs> Who got it? That's right, Sam. We rolled good. Everybody rolled? Yeah. I got a four. Yeah, 20, 19, 17, four. <laughs> you rolled a nat 20? That's good rolls. Mm -hmm. For reals? I, for real, You didn't show me on camera. I'd never lie. <laughs> never, honestly. But you never moved I the camera never. this time, though. All the other if times you, lie, you moved the camera, this time you didn't. If you lie, your mom's not going to bring you any more sausages. <laughs> yeah. yeah, what kind of sausage do you um, get? I don't need any more mom's sausages. They're from Sprouts. They're actually really good. Yeah, yeah. Probably have some waiting for me. But uh, one of them is uh, spinach and feta. Oh, yeah, and okay. the other one is uh, Italian. There you go. Spinach feta one's super good. <laughs> okay, darn it. Darn it! I mean, don't make it easier on us. Just because I rolled a 20, I don't. No, 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 no. no. I'm exclude man. my roll. I would rather it be harder. Alright, so, so you rolled an at 20, and then who, who else rolled what? I got a 17, and Gibby got a 19. Wow. And Warla and, and Amanta's four. just going. <sighs> okay. Cazaro comes up. Oh, yes. I am so anxious. <gasps> this is going to be exciting. Yes. George, Count Thulian seems to calmly unbuckle his sword hilt. Uh oh. Um. Uh. This is an easy one. Are you ready? An easy one. The final riddle. Yeah. Play along and do not fiddle. <laughs> Pay attention. Focus on her beauty. Like a globe tis shines. Her fingers pretty. Like a globe that shines? Like a globe tis shines. Her fingers pretty. You see her... Razak, you realize she's starting to cast a spell. Uh -oh. oh my god. Uh, Countess Sanzuri. Can I do something? <laughs> what? Can I do something? Um, surreptitiously or just action y? Action y. Okay, go ahead. I w can I? I? I don't know. I want to cast a spell. I'd also like to do something. Uh, Amantha, you're listening just, very carefully to the I'm riddle. I'm sitting here listening very carefully. <laughs> I'm just like... Gibby, you know... Uh, Gibby! Yeah? You notice, um... You notice little clouds coming up over the walls behind you. Why? <laughs> <laughs> They're gonna ambush us. Where is ambush us? Attack. Attack? Why? Okay, She's I'm gonna... Um, a spell. George, I'm gonna let you do your action. But I'm gonna just say a little more, and then I'll let you do your action. Okay. Oh yeah, yeah. I'll re it's I'll rewind. 
I'm I'll rewind a little just for the fun of it. I'm a little gnome. <laughs> With a big axe. <laughs> Countess really Sansuri big. has tested you truly. Fixed are your gazes. Fixed are your praises. To wit, you have played her game. And it is now too late. Darn, he's, they're all like, you know. Bomb. Okay. So, George, Raziak, Gibby, yes. what do you do? I As summon my fire. I summon my fire elemental. <laughs> As they all action, and you see those. Uh, you see things behind you now. Gibby, you notice it, so you see. Um... Oop! No, what am I doing? This forming. They're forming in from a fog clouds, you know what I mean? Okay, so you guys you three get an action. So George, you can I'm sorry, you summon your fire elemental? Yep. I can't cast fly yet. Oh no. Uh, <clears throat> um is it a basic elemental? Uh it's the one you I you still got the stats up actually. Yeah, okay. Um just a basic fire elemental then. Yeah. It's a little Megara, Megara Dawn Titan. Okay? Yes! <laughs> well, you know, you know, yeah, I should give you a little more um, strength in it because, you know, you're, sure. you're the dude. We'll give it like one hit, one yeah. more hit dive, plus one and one more I hit dive damage dude. and all that. Okay. Um, let's see if that's on here. Yeah, I'm uh, to find I wish it would let, allow, determined by character settings. Why doesn't it allow me to? Do you have you do you have stats for a fire elemental? Yeah, I, I've got it right here. You do? Yeah. Okay, so I I'll can, let... I can read it out to you really quick if you want. No, no, no. I I have it here. I just I, I can't. If I put can it I... on the thing, I you you can't control it. But I guess that doesn't uh, okay. really matter, right? Yeah. Do you want me to link its stat block? No, no. You just you can do the stats port. Okay. But give it one. one, one a plus one to yeah. attacks. One hit die, extra damage, and then give it like uh, ten more hit points. Okay. Two. And um, so you do that. Um, yes. George, what are you doing? Uh, so I want to cast silence on her. Oh, good idea! Brilliant. Uh, it is a twenty foot radius. So uh, I don't know what the squares are, um, but no sound can propagate in the 40-foot radius uh, sphere, and uh, any creature inside it is immune to thunder damage, uh, but also cannot cast any spells with a verbal component. Okay, each square is 10 feet. Uh, perfect. Draw your circle, George. Yeah, if you can draw that circle. Yeah. It's, uh, this isn't... I gotta move it still. Oh. Perfect circle. That's amazing, man. You're so good at drawing circles. <laughs> Something like that. Okay. Or, yeah. So as long as Queen Sensory is in it. That's, and, that. that's the main thing. Okay. Gibby, what do you do? Going to rage or attack? Um... I can attack this one now. Uh, you can attack any way you want. Don't attack yet. Well, well, if I, well, whatever. I came at a game. Do whatever you want. But I'm fly. Just know that fly is a uh, range of touch spell. She can already fly though, bro. She got them wing boots. Uh, and a club. Right? But they are on the floor. But they are on the ground. Yeah, I don't think you guys need to worry about flying. <laughs> yeah. Well, at least not two of you. Only Raziak. I'm too heavy to fly. <laughs> so I'm gonna tag the one that's behind me. I'm gonna uh, go in my rage. Like this one? This, this one here? One behind me? No, yeah. no, no, no. Which one? This one? Yeah. How are I going to? Well, you can move 30 feet. Uh, three squares. So here. Okay. That one? Yeah. Okay. Oh, you're going for Cresario? You're going for the nice uh, guy! 
Uh, oh, that's a nice guy? Yeah, he's so nice. No, I... He's not nice. He what? was nice, wasn't he? He was all, he was all. What oh, no, he, that was the really bad guy. He was the guy was like, hee He was the one, he, he told the last a... riddle to entrance yeah, you all. I didn't well, he, like that riddle. He entranced Amantha. Speaking of riddles, Wait, I, this, I'm still, this, I'm still this, looking up at the history. Speaking of a riddle, this isn't really a riddle, but after I cast silence, I say, Well, you played your trick. I was more quick. You were far <laughs> too obvious. Victory will come to us. Yeah, that doesn't nice. rhyme. That does. Oh. Hmm. Wait, That's say it again? Well, you played your trick. Good, I was more quick. You were far too obvious. Victory will come to us. Obvious and us don't rhyme. Obvious. Us. It's literally the same word. Oh, obvious. <laughs> yeah. Obvious. I, I think it's obvious. Obvious to us. Uh. Obvious. Obvious. <laughs> That's too close. Oh, it doesn't on. sound like it rhymes, right? <laughs> it sounds exactly like but it rhymes. But inspiration point for you, buddy. Inspiration point for that. Uh, roll your intimidation. Although Countess Cesare and Crisaro can't hear you. <laughs> They can hear. Oh, no! You're right. No, they can't. <laughs> so only Count Thulin hears you. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> can you see him moving his lips? Uh, I got a 14 on intimidation. 14 total. Okay. Uh, yeah. Still, there was inspiration point for you. Okay. So. I may not see your faces, but I gotta have all these things open. Um, okay. All right, I'm kind of scared now. Uh, hold on a sec. I know it's going to take me a little. Bit. We got. I got to tr tread carefully. Okay. High level stuff here. Yeah. <laughs> it's going to take us uh, uh, seven. Seven. Um, you just Sessions. had to go up the riddles, didn't you, Sam? I, love I had a way. I had a way for us out of here so that we could come back sneaky. But but you were like, I want to hear riddles. <laughs> yeah, I thought they were gonna play fair. Now I think they. Somebody told us earlier that I think they don't play fair. Didn't somebody say that earlier? Lord's the Lions yeah, guy. <laughs> I think it was Lord's the Lions guy. That's all right. We'll kick their butt. Okay, we need to do. Um, Initiative. Oh, for uh, Crisarios. I mean, uh, Gibby, do your attack. On poor Crisarios, your friend. Oh, what did I do? I'm your friend. Oh, my hey, rage. You can't, hey, you can't say anything. Although he didn't, yeah, he didn't say anything. He, but he mouths it. And yeah, okay, I kind of use it. For sure, my gray. I don't know, my bed. <laughs> How do you say in Spanish? Wow, that's really good. And you're gonna roll again, though. I have a fish. Yeah, go with the first one. Nineteen. Nineteen. Uh, it's a heat. At nineteen <laughs> plus eleven. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Nineteen plus nine. I guess um, twenty-eight. Their armor classes will be. Ooh, man. They're, so they're only fourteen armor class. The 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 normal ones. These ones in white will have a little more, um, but they're kind of wearing mostly just clothes, just garb, you know. And uh, I'm so used to those full plate fire giants. I know. So these guys, but I, I'm uh, anyway. Go ahead. So 16 is all you needed for this guy. He has okay. a little bit of armor. Yeah, but. it's a hit. That's a hit. Okay. So giant, no? Yeah. It's two D twelve. Yeah. So it's 12? Mm -hmm. The first one? And three. So, uh, so 15 plus 24. 20. 15 plus 24. 39. 39. 39. 39. Yep. That's the first one. But for the second one. Mm -hmm. Wow. Go again. Good luck. Yeah, yes. another 19. Ooh. Nope. Oh no, that's worse. Uh, 
28. Last one? Yep. Get in that. Oh, come on. Roll better. Uh, uh, yeah, that's a hit. 10 plus 11. 21. She gets three attacks normally? Uh, her frenzy. Seven? Last. Need a 16. Uh, no, that's this is her damage for the last one. Uh, seven, 24. 31. Whoa. Get that. Oh! Yeah. All right, so now we're rolling initiative, and I'm going to do, um, I'm going to do different, I'm going to do, um, the whites and the reds separately, just so you know. Yeah, yeah. I would just expect nothing less. <laughs> uh, you don't see your, I don't think you'll see yourselves. So let me, uh, let me add you. Never resets. Okay, so, um, Raziak. Yes. Gibby got nat 20. Nat 20. Nice. Oh my gosh. <clears throat> I got a twenty. Uh, I, I, I got a nat. Lucky num here. Uh, what's the total with the nat twenty? So a total with the nat twenty. Uh, what's your initiative? Uh, Twenty-four. Uh, Twenty-two. Twenty-two. So I have a free attack now. Yeah. <laughs> but just hold on a sec. <laughs> just, just, just wait. Let me get mine in. Oh no. Uh, fourteen. Not as good. All right. The. Uh, the regular cloud giants. And then the noble cloud giants. Ow. Oh, Amato, what's your number? 21. It's in there already. Oh. Yeah. Okay. This is what you do. Yeah. Twenty four. Okay, first Gabby gets uh two attacks. Yep. Get these. I attacked the same guy and yeah. just to make sure she... Okay. Again? Uh, yeah. 13, so... Plus 11, yeah. Or plus 9, yeah. Oh, 12? 12. <laughs> and 10! Oh, 22, no. 24, 40, 46 damage. That's two away from her max on one swing. Oh my gosh. Uh... <laughs> yeah, she got 19, that's another hit. Oh. Three. Thirteen plus twenty-four. Don't take my four. 30 se- Thirty-seven damage. Okay. I can believe he's alive. Well, and your next, your next hit. Wait. So. He said two attacks. Well, she hits two actions or two attacks. Well, no, one action. So, the one action is—is is it three attacks? Yeah, for her it's three attacks. Oh it's gosh. two attacks and one bonus attack. She's doing the frenzy. Yep. Yeah. Okay. Her. F- uh, that's gonna be. Oh yeah. You so you. Yeah. Oh. Frenzy is like one whole uh, rage. Yeah. During the rage. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Uh, six plus twenty-four. Uh, thirty damage. That's a low one. <clears throat> oh my god, he falls back. Dead. Yo! You meanie. He's alive. Oh no, what? he's not. He's dead. Yeah. Oh, he comes out of the sound, you know. Did he just kill him in one freaking motion? Yeah. Well, I mean, it was like two turns back to back with two turns of his damage. Non stop. He's a giant slayer. Damn. He is. I'm not sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry. You know what I gotta live with, you guys? Husband slayer. Ah. 
That was devastating. The George. Slayer. It's great. George, your turn. Um. Okay, well, I cast the thing. What is this thing right here? That was, Did I miss something? No, I, I, I shouldn't. Sh I haven't decided if I'm going to use it yet, so let me just move oh, okay. on. It's not okay. there now. I know okay. what it is. Uh, George is going to uh, blast this guy in the face with arrows. Okay. Um, first attack. Uh, it's going to be... Oh, this is Sharpshooter, by the way. First attack is going to be... Uh, it's 14 armor class. Oh, yeah. 15 plus 9, so that's a hit. Uh, Which one are you attacking? Uh, this guy. Blocking our exit, yeah. Dang it. Uh, I wouldn't worry about it. Well, so that's a 20, 23 damage with the first attack. Second attack. Uh, that's 18 plus uh, whatever. Uh, so that'll be... 27. Damage? 27 damage. Ow. So 27, 23. 50 damage? Yeah. Should I... You know what? I think I'm going to use... Since we're... Since we're trying to show off a little bit, I think I'm going to use my quiver of speed and do one extra attack. Okay. Uh, right. With my awesome initiative. Might as well. Uh, let's see. Does a, a 19 hits, right? Yeah. All right. Is it another one? Uh, 23. 23 damage. Ow! Choo, choo, choo. Okay. Fastest arrow slinger in the <laughs> entire of Waterdeep area. <laughs> in the Gibby. West Faye room. <laughs> now the ferocious little gnome's turn. Regular Back turn. Back at it again. Your turn again. Reina. Okay, and yeah, I can go here. She looks so bad. <laughs> I'm gonna jump here. And attack this queen or whatever. Uh, La Reina de Amnubia. Countess Sensory. Mm. Yeah. She says, okay, get, huh. get, get ready for this. <laughs> oh, also, Phoebe, just you know, you're in silence right now, so you can't talk. Special, special oh, area no, no. where you can't hear anything, and you can't uh, say anything. Does an 18 hit? Yeah. Okay. Nice. Eight. An eight. Four. Forty damage. Uh -oh. Come on, roll good, roll good. Oh! Not 20! <laughs> She's never rolled this good in her life! <laughs> okay. So how do you want to do the damage, Ron? I don't. <laughs> so, Ron, she gets an extra dice roll on crits because she's uh, her new barbarian feet. Get to open the first. Right. Well, the roll again. So double the hit. She, you're not gonna believe this. She just rolled her two twelves, both twelves. I wouldn't believe I just tell saw her, that happen. Tell, <laughs> tell her to go That's to the other room. <laughs> I want some of that luck. I'd like to roll one twenty this session. Right. So that was the. Uh, nat 20 roll? Yeah, nat 20 and she got max dice on it. Okay, well then then roll two more, right? Or how many hit die are she rolling normally? Just well, a normal? t normally, but she gets an extra roll on crits. So roll for three more dice. Yeah. So three more times. Okay. Yeah. Uh, Damage six. Is 2d12, that's insane. Yeah, six, eight, one more time. <laughs> 11. 
49. Is what? 49 plus 24 from base damage. Uh, base damage is 24? Yeah, because Great Weapon Master. So you double that. No, you don't double no, Great Weapon you only Master. You double oh. the dice rolls. Right, right. It's like, sharp, it's like Sharpshooter. Oh, right. Um, but you so double the, the strength. Oh, you do? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, hold you, on a yeah, second. You double the, the strength, strength and magic, but not the great weapon. Okay, this is gonna take me just one. Give me one second. <laughs> so, too many well, dice to figure be, out. Because the thing is, her strength bonus now with her diet is actually higher than great weapon master. Well, you still add great weapon master, okay. but you don't double it. No, I know, but if I'm doubling, I'm just saying it. That's gonna be high. Okay, so 12, 12 plus eight. That's what I get for when you plus six belt of giant strength. Plus six. Plus 11. Plus 11. Okay. 49. Now go plus 22. <laughs> plus 6. Minus 37. <laughs> yeah. Plus 10. Subtracto 34. So Subtracto 87. Trece, just, just on that hit, 87. Oh my gosh. That's insane. Super insane. That's crazy. That, that's it? Okay, yeah. done. That done. Her second, Finicio, that was her second finito. Hit, so. He still got one more hit. Oh my god. Got one more swing. Que dijo, que dijo Ron? <laughs> what? Que dice, she said, que dice, she's calling you out. Yeah, she said, you all right? <laughs> uh. oh! I swear, I swear to god, I'm not gonna touch anything. I'm not gonna touch anything at all. I'm not touching anything at all. Another nat 20. <laughs> I'm gonna cry. Guys. <laughs> oh, man. We warned, we warned the Claw Giants. Did we, did we not? We warned them. Could have just told us another riddle, Ron. We would have left happy. <laughs> they, remember, they were like, what are you gonna do? We're Cloud Giants. And then we're like, we have a gnome. <laughs> <laughs> Gibby is basically the Hulk. Like, if yeah, he's trying to run away, <laughs> he's gonna be like, but there's a monster. Yeah, big monster. <laughs> She's the Hulk, but really small. It's a very ferocious gnome. Yeah. Okay, so roll five. For once times. in your life, Gibby, don't smash. Ten. Eleven. Twenty-one. I got it. I'll, I'll add it up. Okay. Ten. I'm done here. Nine. <laughs> Nine. Nine. Five. Yeah. One more. Five. Uh, so plus ten. Okay. And then open up your sheet. Okay. And then go. Go plus twenty-two. Plus six. Plus ten. Jesus Christ. Seventy-eight damage. Setentayocho, papa. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> I need a moment. <laughs> I need a moment. Go for a wine. Mata is where he casts uh, insta heal. <laughs> yeah, I'm looking for my. Uh, she spends a turn reaction, drinking. Uh, reaction. Her, her, kill gnome. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, right. I have, this, I have this 11th level spell called Instant Kill Gnome. Yeah. It's just a react spell. Yeah, she's going to use that, and then spell. she's going to use yeah, her yeah. healing Cast potion of 20d4 plus 40. Immune to gnome damage potion. Oh, and she's. Oh, no. <laughs> And she's exhausted would be the hilarious <laughs> icing on the cake. <laughs> oh. Just uh, so I gotta look up something. Music is great. I always feel like when people roll a lot of 20s, I end up rolling really bad. Maybe it's just a comparison. This is my best roll in my life. Okay, I'm just gonna cry. <laughs> this okay. Is the best um, I can't wait to get this out this to turn. Video. So. Okay, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna look at the. I, I'm like, wait, I can't, guys, I can't hear anymore. Why? I thought she was giving us a riddle, and I look around. I'm like, wait, what happened to that guy? <laughs>
<laughs> Amanda is still writing on a piece of paper. I'm like, well, on a piece of paper. I'm like wait. <laughs> and I and I immediately figure out what's going on, and I go, "Oh, we told you." And I turn around, <laughs> and I see the guy behind me, and I just go. <clears throat> down to this guy down here. I smash him with an agonizing blast. <clears throat> oh my god, and I roll a natural one. Yes! Wow! Finally, the tide's turning! <laughs> no, I don't like it, Ron. I don't like it. Okay, so um, you just... I'll just... You just lose your turn. You just, like, turn... Because you got... You can do two of them or something? I can do three of them. Yeah, you lose your whole turn. You're just like... I, wait, on a, on just one natural one, I lose all, all my other two yes. of my agonizing blast? That's how nice I am. <laughs> oh. It's cold revenge. Well... Yeah, he could say I, you drop your cantrip, and then you can't cast it until you pick it back up. Yeah, exactly. You fumbled <laughs> it. Or I could say you hit someone, one of your own guys and knock him back. Well, oh, I'm, not, I'm not standing in the way. <laughs> <laughs> well, it... Uh, I mean, right. if, if, I'll let you roll if, your Arcana. If you get above a uh, 15, you get your third blast. Okay. Well, also, can I use my lucky skill? Use one of oh, the luck points. Sure. Use up a luck point. 20. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. I'll use up a luck point, um, and then then I'll uh, get your two you get last two shots. That's fine. You can one. do that. Yeah. All right. So I'm using. I'm like ah, and it fizzles, and I'm like ah, I go oh yeah. <laughs> Oh yeah, I suckle oh. off the teeth of Slockwithel like a leech, like a parasite. And like, like the, uh, like that makes like, me uh, giddy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. um, and I shoot him. Like, ah, let's try that again. Like, like Leela, I suckle off the teat. <laughs> yeah. Gosh. Okay. I got a. It's actually, it's actually a <laughs> four. 15. Yeah. That's what I get for letting you use your lucky. Yeah, it's a 14. 14. Well, that's a hit, actually. <laughs> it's 14. Oh, nice. That's exciting. 15 force damage on this fire giant, and he gets knocked 10 feet back. Okay. Or cloud giant. And then I go, oh, better. It's a hit. And I hit it for 12 force damage, and he just another 10 feet back, hopefully off the ledge. Okay. He's just floating there. He's oh he he can fly. Floating. Yeah, yeah. cloud giants. I've heard that. Oh, that changes things. <laughs> I thought he was gonna fall. Okay. So I go, I go. No! Oh! <laughs> All right, my turn. Well, no, I still have my movement, right? Oh yeah, sure. And I have a bonus action, so I uh, I turn around and I run straight at these other giant, these cloud giants here. Ten. Well, you go 20, thirty feet. Yeah, right. Ten, twenty, thirty, and then all of a sudden, when I hit, hit these, hit, as I as I get close to the cloud giants, all of a sudden I poof. And I vanish into thin air, and hopefully I can appear. How tall is this building? Wait, what are you doing? I'm using my spell Far Step, which is a bonus action. Oh. And I can teleport uh, every turn I, on a bonus action. I can teleport 60 feet. Um, you want to go up above the, like on the roof? Yeah. Yeah. Is that possible? S yeah, 60 feet. Uh, I think it's higher than 60 feet, but there's a window ledge right here. Yeah. Can I go on the window ledge? Yeah. Boop. And it, like I literally just blinked out of existence in front of. I, I was like charging them, going. Ah! <laughs> really? You can, what is this again? The, on a bonus action, you can. Um... So it's, called, it's a spell called Far Step. So uh -huh. when, you, when, it's, when you, you cast it on a bonus action, and then every bonus action thereafter on every one of my turns, I can teleport six feet. How long does it last? Um, it's your. Is it one of your one of your warlock spells? Yeah, it's a warlock spell. It's a fifth level spell, and wow. it lasts for one minute. Okay. So you only got two spells at fifth level, right? I have I have three spell slots. And I have four fifth level spells. Three How spells many of your spell slots are fifth level? Well, they're all fifth level. 
how, how, how do you have three fifth level spell slots? I have three fifth level spell slots. I'm level eleven now. Oh, oh, you do? Oh, okay. Yeah. But you have a, but you also have like another spell slot that's lower, right? Nope. I just have three fifth level spell slots. I have oh. the, the 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 rod thing that um, gives me uh, a fifth level spell slot and a fifth level spell slot, but I don't have. Yeah, as a warlock, at a level level eleven, you get three fifth level spell slots. Yeah. Okay. Alrighty. Uh, nice. My turn. Okay, so I'm going to see if these three notice you, which is going to be hard for them. Right? Right. Because of your... No. Just do it one at a time here. No. Uh, no. Now, I was going to say maybe they're confused by you. So, because, you know, they, they see you here and then you disappear. But yeah. they... Um, uh, I'll see what they do. Um, yeah, this one comes up looking for you. This one comes up looking for you. This one goes for Gibby because he sees how much he sees Gibby, man, and he comes up. Argh! He tries to push her a little bit out of the way, but you know, still there, and attacks you. I call my my weapon axe. Whatever, scared. Are you scared? <laughs> scared, you little axe. <laughs> All right. So, which armor class? First attack. Uh, nineteen. Plus your plus axe, so twenty-one. I missed. For crying out loud. All right, but you don't get it for the second one, right? You only get it for the first attack. Right. Right. Is our armor class nineteen with the ring? Uh, yeah. yes. Oh wow, I'm really glad I gave you that one. Me Thank too. Thank you so much. Hit. Me too. So, three plus eight. This plus eight. Oh. Uh, Fourteen, so seven? Seven. 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 Minus. Seven. Let's see if this guy. <laughs> nope. Alright, this one comes up and to protect the Predict the Countess! And then, oh no, he says, he comes up, protect the. Oh. <laughs> hit! Damn, they got plus 10. At least they hit. Eleven. That's half. Eleven is half. Oh, okay. Take eleven damage. Remember, Second you attack. got the temporary, eh? Ooh, that's Don't a hit. Don't forget. Remember, I gave you temporary hit points? Yeah, yeah, I get it. Uh, plus eleven? Mm-hmm. No, I gave and you 12. 17 hit points. And twelve. Eleven and twelve. Okay. Eleven and twelve damage. Um, uh, Cal oh no, he, that's not his turn. All right, um, you summon this guy, right? Yeah. So sh this guy comes up and I ta attacks the um, fire elemental, I guess. Sure. He's gonna take. Uh, ah. He's he if he hits me, he takes a one d ten damage. Oh, he does. Yeah. I need anything that touches me or that I touch. Right. Well, first attack and. Um, so they're yeah they're magical their weapons and stuff. Okay. I was going to say, I was about to say, I have resisted. Oh, okay. So 18 for the first swing. Okay. And... 18, and then 20 for the second. Okay. That's damage or... 
Yeah. Okay. And then you, what so damage does he take? Thirty. Do you say thirty-eight? So every time he hits me, he takes one d ten. Every time he touches me, he takes one d ten damage. So roll two d ten damage. For him. Okay. Oh, it's your fire elemental, right? Do you get? Do you yeah. have any little fire bonuses? Uh, I don't think I'm sure it applies. I think it's just for spell casting. Yeah, okay. So, uh, five fire yeah. damage, but then the creature is now burning, and they need to use an action on their turn to take it out. If they don't, they will take 1d10 on every turn okay. until they put out the fire. So, you gotta remind me, okay? Please? Yeah. But can you put a fire oh, icon yeah. on the guy? That'll help. That, or, uh... Yeah. Uh, yeah. That works. Smoke? I don't know. There's not like a flat. Fire? <laughs> or a ninja? Uh, oh, no, the fire. Actually, the one beside the smoke looks really good. Yeah, that looks really good. Or I could do a little my little fire thing. Do you want me to do a little fire thing, or that's good? Uh, no, that's good. All right. Um, he charges through, and he goes for you, Raziak. Okay. Uh, warding flare. Missed. Yeah, but just do it just in case he rolls a one. Dang! Okay. Missed! This guy just comes... He just, um... He, he, um... This guy suddenly disappears and appears right there. Whoa. Wait, what, what, what guy did? Oh, that guy... Uh, missed, he missed, he stepped. Missed, he stepped. Yeah. Oh, cool. Which armor class there, George? Uh, 21. A hit. Yeah. Nineteen. Mm. Damage? Yeah. <laughs> there go hey! my temporary. There go my temporary hit points. Oh, Ron got a natural twenty. For and for these cloud giants, it's quad damage. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Driven's uh, face. <laughs> what did he say? <laughs> Not funny? That was funny. <laughs> I'm gonna have to check the rule book on that. It's only one. funny when we get 20 from. <laughs> yeah. It's fine. He can kill me in 50. one hit. That's cool. Look at those numbers. 50 freaking damage. Suck it! In, in a PG 13 <laughs> sense. So uh, we're leaving, right? <laughs> so we're getting that out of here? All right, well, Raziak's turn. Raziak, um, you know, after missing the riddles, he says, when the situation is dire, you must use fire. <laughs> and he, he launches a fireball. Um, so, uh, well, hold on, let me spread blocks? out the giants. Yeah, yeah, right? How big are these blocks? 10 feet. 10 feet, huh? Uh, what is this radius, 20? Uh, should know that off by heart by now. Um, yeah, 20 foot radius. Okay. Um, so I'm going to launch it. I want to hit Sansuri uh, and the two giants to the bottom of her. Organize it that way. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, actually, screw it. I'm going to launch it on, on right where Gibby is, too, because she has fire resistance. I yell, forgive me, Gibby, but she can't hear me. No, why you do that? But then I can hit all four giants. Hey, <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm casting. I'm casting. This is a fifth level fireball. It's a twenty foot radius. I, I yeah. smell beef. Uh, it's as it's as big as the blue circle. But you have fire resistance. Okay. And you're rolling that twenty. <laughs> Just keep swimming. <laughs> Oh my goodness, okay. Terrible. So they've got to roll... Ah! Uh, they've got to roll DC 18 on that to save. And they can't hear it coming. Yeah, that, maybe they're... Well, the sound damage. snuffs it out, so... Because <laughs> uh, it needs sound to... <laughs> Is that how that works? Oh, well, actually... Wait. wait. DC 18, uh, dex save? Uh, dex. Wait, speaking of which, I should do this, because uh, I don't normally have to worry about it, but... 
don't, I don't, I don't think there's, oh my god. What? Did you uh, mess up? Uh, wait, no, so, uh, no. I rolled a freaking 19 on my concentration save, but because I got hit with 50, I don't think there's literally a way that I could No, save. yeah, because it's 20, half damage is 25. Yeah, yeah I think you, you So you lose that. that. Well, it's not like they can do anything. Stupid crit. It was supposed to stop her from casting a spell. Well, it did. Oh, okay. Does that make the initial I mean, well, just tell me that it worked and I'm happy. Sweet. Yeah, it stopped her from casting <laughs> her spell. That's sweet. I like that. <laughs> And she's not doing too well, so... You gotta kill her next turn. Is my next turn? No. Get ready to roll this. Oh. <laughs> Don't make for sure. Okay, so she did not save. Yes. You do this guy. I don't want to see them roll yet. It's going to be insane. It's like 15 D6. Didn't save. Didn't save. Didn't save. Didn't save. Yes. Didn't Fail. Okay. 15 D6 plus 1 D8. Skadoosh! Give me a roll. <laughs> uh, 56 fire damage. Oh, you gotta, you gotta roll your save. <clears throat> okay, roll. Ah, uh, she saved. <laughs> oh, Are you sure about that? So, got 19. She takes no damage? No, she takes half. And then half again. No, I think if you save with fire resist, you don't take any damage. Uh, okay. She's, well, no, that's fire immunity. No, no, if you save with it, you take half damage. Oh, yeah, so she saves, so she takes half. Plus, she's got the ring, so you have again. No, 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 I don't think that's not the way it works. If you have fire resistance and you save, you take zero. Oh, I, yeah. I didn't know that. Okay. If you cool. fail, you take half. Oh, uh, okay. Right? Uh, so you take yeah, no damage. And I say to Gibby, see? No, no problem. Yeah. But I can feel the fire. <laughs> um, uh, and then, uh... Ah! You see her, like, fall into this flame of goo. Ah! Ah! I won't tell you anything! It's okay, guys. I can speak with dead honor ashes. Nice. Um, and then on the uh, fire elemental, he has uh, 50 feet movement. How far is everybody? Uh, 10 feet, two squares. 10, 20, 30. Mm. Okay, he's going to uh, walk through the space of these two. Oh, I don't have. Can you give me access to the fire elemental? No. No, I... Oh, yes, I can. No? Yes. Hold on, I can't. Because okay. yes, you have the stats. Okay. Uh, turn this off. And by the way, I'm going to christen this fire mental. Its name is uh, is Maggie. Maggie Jr. After Magara the non titan After Gaga. <laughs> okay. Wait, did that work? Try it. Yep. I say, Maggie, burn to the extreme! Run through the fire giants! And she starts, or the uh, cloud giants, and she starts walking through these two. So they're both gonna take 1d10 damage for her just going through their space. Uh, so the first guy takes. Well, you can do all three of these guys, you know? Yeah, but if I move her away from these guys, then she'll take opportunity attacks. Um, so the one guy beside me takes one, one damage, and the other guy takes eight. And the one guy beside me is now on fire as well, so they're both burning. That's cool. Yeah, Maggie then attacks. She's got multi-attacks, so she makes two attacks on the fire giant that's already burning. 
that one. Yeah. Uh, so first attack. Uh, twenty. I'm guessing that hits. Yeah. Okay. And then second attack. And twenty-four. I'm guessing that hits. Uh, and then damage is for each hit is three d six plus four. Actually, that's two. I'll just do. 66 plus 8 then, for both attacks. Um, it says green circle. I don't know, I didn't put it there. Um, so the fire, the cloud giant that Maggie's on takes 26 fire damage. And, uh, and then I'm gonna end my turn there. Okay. Did you want to move or? Oh, sorry. No, I um. You want to move away here. from my cloud giants? Uh, I'm not that afraid. <laughs> okay. I'll stay close to the Maggie where the heat's at. Counter us! How dare you! Ah! So he uh. No! She's fallen! Vengeance! No! Music is great. I love Ron's music. I'll turn it up. I put this on my iPod, man. <laughs> <laughs> Swinging the axes. All right, he just both of you, uh, you two. Dare you? And he, and you just see like the grass ripple up, and you, thunderous, you know, boom. Amazing. Yeah, underway. So who did underway. that? Oh, that guy did that. But he's doing it at a high level. Uh oh. So uh -oh. you. Uh, Save versus a Constitution saving throw, oh, and shit. the number I... is fifteen. Yep. Hmm. Oh my god! I got a thirteen. No. Yeah. How about a one? Hold on a sec. I didn't get How about a one, one Razzy? I rolled. I rolled with advantage what? too because Constitution. It hasn't really come into play yet, but because I'm a ranger, I have greater favored enemy. And I have advantage versus the spells and abilities of giants. Wow, uh, but it didn't help you. It didn't help you. What, what type of damage is this? Lightning damage? Thunder. Damn. Only silence was still active. Uh, fail. Failed. So you both failed. Cool. Oh, you're getting a break here. It's like the tide's turning. <laughs> Out of the turntables. Okay. Take this. Each of you. Okay. Twenty. Uh, you get pushed back ten feet, so you're getting slammed in into the giants. Yep. Uh, roll, do it like a deck saves so you don't fall over. Uh, okay. You just need a 12. I got more than a 12. <laughs> I rolled a 6, but my deck save is plus 9. I mean, you need a 21. And Come on, uh, baby. Well, then I'll roll with advantage. <laughs> I got a 16. Where'd Raziac go? I'm, I got knocked with the Giants. Giant, yeah. Yeah, you guys mm -hmm. are in the Giants right here. Yep. 
put him in the oh, bag. Shoot, well, I, I can I can still see me. Oh, there I can he see is. your toes. <laughs> I recognize those boots anywhere. Okay. Um, <laughs> you killed all the other guys, so it's George's turn. Oh, the other nobles. George. Uh, I don't know what I was going to do. I was going to try to go free the tree ants, but I don't I don't think I can now. Okay, tree hugger. Got to resort George the to tree hugger. Plan, plan B. Uh Uh let's do uh, uh Ah. Oh wait! Oh, I forgot I have this. Can I do something? It might be too nah, late. Nah, it's too if late. It's too, if it's too late, that's fine. I've waited long enough. Uh, it's your turn. I, totally, I finally could use absorb elements, and I totally forgot. Uh, I'm oh gonna my use god! Spike grew. No, I'm just gonna. Yeah. I'm gonna oh wait, absorb grew. elements. You mean as far as the thunder wave? Thunder ain't an element. Yeah, it would give me resistance to thunder, and then I would have thunder damage. On this attack, but that's okay. Uh, yeah, I'm just gonna do Spike Growth. Uh, Wait, is that a react spell? Nice circle. Absorb Elements is a reaction Well, spell, if you want to do it, that's fine. That's... Do it. <laughs> what is that? I don't want that. What I, don't, I don't mind if you want to do it. Uh, you want to do it? I just have... I'm getting pummeled over here, so... Taking... You know, Ten less health would be great. All right, so I'm gonna do it. Okay, and then I won't. Yes. yes. That's. Wait. So what does it do? Uh, so I uh get resistance to thunder damage uh until the start of my next turn, and then my next attack does one d six thunder damage, which probably won't help that much. But and it's a spell like so. You, it's a spell slot. You... It, it's a reaction spell. It's a first level spell. Okay. So I cast a spell, I absorb part of the attack, and then I can use that okay. absorbed energy to attack. Alright, that's fine. Um, uh, yeah, I mean, really, just I did it for the resistance. I'm gonna... I'm gonna Misty Step. Uh, because I have... I'm gonna miss a step over here. And I will shoot. Uh, actually. Uh, well, I guess I gotta use it. I don't know, guys. Should I should I try to not die? Or should I do some more damage? What do you guys think? Uh, can you do both? <laughs> no. What What is your trying not to die thing? What's that gonna be? Uh, potion of damage resistance. Oh. oh. Okay. Actually, that's pretty smart. <clears throat> yeah. I would take that. Yeah, I'm going to use a potion of damage resistance. Okay. That's pretty awesome. That is pretty awesome. Now I have damage resistance. Is that everything, or is that just physical attacks? Ah, uh, physical. Yeah, okay. That's fine, because then I have absorb elements to do magical stuff. Okay, that's my turn. Uh, I think. How do I play it? I think it's just physical. That, but, you, but those guys have magic weapons, though. Right? Yeah, that's fine. That's fine. Oh, okay. Okay, yeah. Uh, and then I'm going to move over here. This thing's oh. not here, right? <laughs> no. <laughs> Is that thing actually there? No. Okay. He's not there. He, he could be, but... About that guy. Uh, no, he has to cast it, and I don't think he has time. Okay. All right. Uh, we're going to skip Gibby this turn. And... <laughs> That's not fair. I get your did attack. You, did you kill the? Did you kill the queen? I melted her, dude. Yeah. She's dead. Uh, I melted her skin mask off. Uh, no, it melted into her face. <laughs> okay, so I'm still in frenzy and rage. Yeah. My roughness and everything. Okay, gonna get this guy on my right side. Yeah, that way. You wanna do the guy? Yeah, okay, cool. 
<clears throat> Oof, roll again. <laughs> no. Oh, wait. Uh, what's his AC? 14. Oh, he missed. He missed. But this hurts. Yeah, you have two more. Did you roll a one? No. <laughs> well, she did, but it was advantage. Yeah, that's a hit. She's got. Why she got advantage? But she's reckless. What? You didn't tell me that. She did. Yeah, yeah she, she did. did. She did. She said reckless. I heard reckless. Reckless and friends. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's Gabby. Twelve. Yeah. So? 12 plus 5 plus 24. Mm -hmm. <sighs> 41? 41? 41, dang. Not fair. Seven first. Yep. Third attack? Yep. Yep, she hit. 16. For to, to hit. Oh, yeah, uh-huh. 24. Yeah, okay. Plus 9. Yep. Plus... Oh. Oof. Uh, 34 damage. Yeah. That's your last one. Yeah, that's it. Yep. Okay. Mata. So, you're, you're, you're totally going... Yeah. Ooh! No? At least you didn't have to do a couple of crits on him. Okay, yeah, sorry, month. Yeah, yeah. So I am going to put down at these people below me. How high is this ledge? It's pretty good. Is it like See that? Feet? Yeah. No, I'm not going to like drop 50 her. feet. No, no, no. Okay. Oh, so yeah, I'm but holding down at these people below me, and I am going to cast Sickening Radiance. Are you bringing can, I, can I cast it here and get all four of these guys? Um. Right above Raziak and right to the right of, of what's your name? Gibby? What is it? Sickening Radiance. It's a 30 foot radius spell. <clears throat> okay. And that is my turn, basically. So, what does it do? So, on the start of their turn, uh, I, will, I will put it in the, in the chat, but on the start of their turn, um, if they start their turn inside of the spell, then they take. Uh, um, Those damage what? things. 40 10. Eight? Constitution save? Yeah. It's a constitution save, and they, or they take 40 10 radiant damage. Um, <clears throat> but wow, that was a terrible roll. But anyway, it's, I, I only roll on the start of their turn, so I don't know. I shouldn't have rolled that damage right now. Oh, okay. But whatever. Um, DC 17. It's on the start of the turn, or when they move into the turn, into, or if they move into the spells area for the first time on a turn or start their turn. So they'll they'll get it next the their next turn when they yeah as soon as they start their turn yeah, those four giants get will get, get it okay. yeah. do that damage again now it's like whatever <laughs> okay All right, I'll let you roll on their turn yeah. All right, so you cast a spell anything else <clears throat> um that's all I can really do at the moment that's an action that spells an action uh -huh. so yeah, and I, I sort of they, they, I, I still don't think they can see me or like I'm just hanging out a few feet up, up here they haven't seen me so right. maybe I'll take a, we'll take a little step back so I can go back a little bit but that's that's pretty much it well you're on a windowsill above the, the, you're not oh. this is not floor level this window oh it's not okay so I'm just sort of yeah, you guys on the window, so. chill there. All right. Well, um, okay. it's their turn. So uh, roll the forty ten. Yeah. <clears throat> there, that's better. Now let's do the <laughs> let's do the previous one. Yeah. <laughs> but they have to save seventeen. DC seventeen constitution. Oh, that's save. right. Oh, they get a high save on constitution. Yeah. So. Uh. So they have a plus 10, so what's the... Uh, 17. 17? They have plus 10? Yeah. Oh, man. So this one first. The best of you. All right, he saved. If they save, then what? Uh, 
It looks like nothing. That's annoying. Yeah. Uh, saved. You said 17, right? Yeah. <laughs> saved. He needs a 6 to fail. And the fourth one? Oh yeah. Giants have huge constitution. They all saved. Oh, that's dumb. Well, <laughs> I always try to do dex, dex spells. All right, yeah, my turn. Um, that's let me start with do. these fire oh, things God. here. So he, he, okay, so this guy, he's... He takes 2d10. Right. Because he's, yeah. Uh, roll that for me. Yeah, and then yeah, he, he has 1d10. He doesn't put it out. He's, he's trying to fight you guys. Okay, so he takes 12 fire, and the other guy takes... Three. Oh, that guy takes three. Damn it. All right, so this guy totally, like, smacks at the uh, fire elemental. Hits. That's a hit. I'm assuming. Yeah. This plays eight. 25. Mm -hmm. Yeah, 25. Yeah. Second hit. Oof. He's just, like, smacking and slapping and... You know, just like yeah. brawling with the fuck, trying to put out this fire elemental. <laughs> uh, so take another twenty-one. Okay. Is that right? Yeah. How many times did he hit him so far? Two. Okay. So he takes damage on that too. Oh, so roll. Go ahead, and roll. It. Yep. Uh, so then he takes uh, ugh, bad rolls, three damage. All right. And then this guy attacks Razio. Uh, warding flare. What is it? Disadvantage? Yep. Oh, missed. And second attack? Yeah, warding flare again. Again? Yep. Gotta get through your warding flare, isn't it? Hits! I use him some points. What's that? Yes. What's his final. 15. Oh, no, I mean, what's his oh, final. Oh, sorry. Uh, 27. Yep, that's a hit. Which armor class? Uh, 25. <clears throat> so take uh, <clears throat> 22. Whew. Okay. And this guy. Gotcha. Uh, let me see if he spots George Misty Stepping. Because he's used to Misty Steps. Yeah. He knows you, you know, did your Misty Step. So he glances around and he sees you. And he just comes at you, swinging his sword. This grand, it's like a big, you know, <laughs> sort of like a, almost like a god, you know, kaiju thing. Like a big windmill coming at you. Only more. On. It's a hit. This plus eight. Twenty four, twenty six. Twenty six damage. I saw half of that. Second attack. Hit. And, you know, it's not necessarily that he hits you as much as, you know, slamming all around you like an earthquake of damage. And another 22, so half of that, 11. Uh... Okay, uh, I'm gonna see if these guys get a sense that you're up there. Because they can't find you here, so they know you did some kind of misty step. Yeah. That one doesn't. Uh, this one. Or they don't know where you're at. Alright, yeah. this. Yeah, they're, they're looking around for you, so you've kind of um, distracted them. Yeah. And then, of course, the. Uh, I guess the green stuff is like. It's a sickly greenish light, yeah. Yeah, so these two attack. Uh, they gotta kill you. They gotta kill this little stink. Little killer no. Uh, he's a little dizzy, so I'm gonna go ahead and give him a little minus. Uh, so 23 hit. Yep. 23 hit. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. So 15. So seven. Or, yeah, seven. That's half. Yeah. Second swing. Hey! He got a nat 20 on you. Oh, so just take this full damage. Nineteen. Alright. 
19 damage. This guy swings at you. If he rolls 19? a 1, he'll hit the other guy. Did you uh, put your axe up yet? No, I don't. 16? I don't need it. Nope. No, it's not yet. Ah, missed! <sighs> Stay alive. Count. Oh, it's not his turn. So this guy. Let me see if they see uh, the warlock. Nope. Oh my god. <laughs> Three guys. All right. This one sees you. Which one? This one walks over yeah. here and can't reach you. So is he entering the? Is he entering the sphere? Oh wait, sorry. No, no, I'm sorry. I, I gotta, I'm, I'm not gonna walk him. I'm gonna misty step him. So let me. Okay. Let me roll where he, he's either gonna go here to help him, or he'll go over here. But he can see the green stuff, right? Oh uh, yeah, you can see it. Yeah. <clears throat> okay. He appears before George. George, take this. Oh, uh, Take what now? <laughs> I'm gonna say he overshot you, and he realized it, and he's kind of like, ah. Uh, he's gonna, he's sort of, you know, he's got to, no. he sunk a little, and then he's got to cast, do his fly thing. All right, this guy. Um, oh, he sees Amantha, so. How do I draw circles again? He pulls out a steel ball and he throws it at him on them. Okay, wait, did he, which one? This one. Alright, you get plus two that to your one? armor cover. So which... oh, I'm, I'm gonna use my I'm gonna use my entropic ward too. What's that do? Entropic ward imposes disadvantage uh, on the attack roll. Okay. So he does a 20, so the other roll is a 14, 26. Armor class? Yeah. 26 da uh, attack? Roll, yeah. Even with a disadvantage? Okay, that hits. Yeah. Uh, wow, that's more damage. See this, it's like a cannonball. <laughs> Badoosh yeah. smashes into you and all, on all the rock around you. And I also, uh, I can only use one reaction per turn, right? Yeah, okay, cool. 27. 27 damage. All right, I have to roll a concentration save. Huh? Um, sorry, let me do damage first. 90, okay. Um, so I have to roll a concentration save at uh, 13. I have to get over a 13. Wait, how do I do it? Okay, hold on. What is it? We're gonna end on Raziak's turn, okay? Or after yeah. his turn. Saving throw is it's a wisdom saving throw, right? Concentration? Yeah, I don't know. What is, or is it is, is it based on your spell? You? Or your casting? I'm sewing another fireball at you. I don't know what it is. Yeah, it's a saving it's like hold on, one second. One second, just one second. It's, we're, we're, I wanna get this. Griffin, right, don't you know? so we, no, you're what? Concentration save. What, Constant, what does he use? Take, when you take, take a damage, you must make a Constitution saving throw. Constitution. Yeah, it's not. Uh, yeah, Constitution. Sorry. So I have to get over a 13 because I took 27 damage. So. Um, oh. Eight, 18. Save. Cool. Good job. Okay, Raziak. Great. I'm going to launch a fireball. I already drew the circle. I'm trying to hit all those guys. Over here? Yeah. Oh, no, 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 no. Sorry. I oh, read this fire. One. Yeah, the red one. Yeah, that was just my circle I'm drawing for yeah, yeah. My goodness. Cheater. Uh, fireball, fifth level. I think yeah, that's cheating. DC 18, dexterity save. Okay. And I yell, I bathe you in Kosa's eternal radiance. <laughs> Alright, do this one. Oh, it's all of them. Okay, so we'll do this one first. Yep. We need a beat of what? 17? 18? 18. Now, uh, do the middle guy. 
Just fireballs going off everywhere. Fireball! Fireball! Yeah, this guy. <laughs> Too bad Armour's not here. Yep, and then Count Thulin. Is it Thulin or Foolin? Thulin. Well, it's gonna be Foolin soon. And I'm gonna be a Count Thulin. Who are you fooling? <laughs> <laughs> All right, damage. Do I get any? In I've been throwing up rhymes this whole time. Give me no inspiration. <laughs> I don't want to encourage you or anymore. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, skadoosh. Jeez. Fifty-nine damage. I'll take fifty-nine damage. That's all. Oh, Gibby's got Gibby's got a save too. Yes. She saves. She rolled nineteen. Did he roll one more time? Eight. Ooh. Okay. Oh, um, you. But then I got to do the Maggie. Oh, yeah. Right. Um. So Maggie attacks the. Uh, actually, she's gonna walk through them again, so they take contact damage. So one takes five, one takes three damage. She swipes at the one. She is currently engorged. Um, uh, 23? Yeah, it's okay. Six. Uh, I'm guessing a 12 is a miss, though. Yeah, it's a miss. Okay. Uh, and then the one that she's enwreathed around takes 14 fire damage. Okay. Um, and that's it. Alrighty. Woo! Wow. So ends part one of the cloud giant fiasco. Yeah. Uh, it's an epic fight. Yeah. You guys, I don't want to fight giants anymore. <laughs> I thought you were the giant slayer. Alrighty. Uh, not when I have 13 health left. Oh, God. <laughs> Aw, George. What a cliffhanger. Yeah. Literally, gonna... he's hanging off the cliff. <laughs> hey, what is the guy doing down there? Is he just floating around attacking George? He, he overstepped and uh, oh. fl flubbered. Right. Wow. Pretty good riddles, hey. huh? Did you like those riddles? Yeah, those are, those are awesome. <laughs> yeah. The last one especially was great. <laughs> <laughs> Alrighty. I'm still figuring it out. <laughs> yeah, I'm like, still, it? still trying to... <laughs> ah! Alright, man. What is it? Rock and roll. Thanks, Ron. That was great. Yeah, thanks, Ron. All right. Yeah, great work. See ya. Constitution saves. Bye. Good night, everybody. Good night. See y'all next night. week. Night.